Yan po. So, good morning po. So, as of now, we have, um, we are 39 in the Zoom meeting. And then, at present, we have 37 watching us via Facebook Live. Also, we have um, viewers po and subscribers po from YouTube. Ay, Ma'am A, wala po talagang sound. Hinali ko po talaga sa sound. So, in just a while po, mapuon na po kita. So, good morning, everyone. Good morning, PSU. Uh, yes, po, wala pa pong saan. So, we're, we're about to start na po. Yes, thank you so much po. Thank you so much po for being with us today. Happy po, it is Friday morning. Yeah. So, let's start na po. Maray na aga po. Maray na aga partido. So, to our university president, Dr. Raul Bredesina, our Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Rosipina A. Baromeo, our Vice President for Administration and Finance, Dr. Arnel Zarcedo, our Vice President for Research and Extension Services, Professor, Pat Professor Patricia Candelaria, to our OSIS Dean, Dr. Gemma Barciliano, to our President, faculty members, our stakeholders, primarily uh, the incoming freshman students and our beloved old students, friends, good morning. So welcome to the tutorial on Google Classroom for students. So we are live in Facebook Live and YouTube Live. 
So if in the event you are experiencing problems connecting with us via Facebook Live, please tune in or continue viewing us via YouTube. Thank you very much. So to formally start our program, let's have an opening prayer to be led to us by Ms. Arian P. Abundabar, faculty member from the PSU San Jose campus. Ma'am Arian. Marian. Ma'am Ariane. Okay po, so we are having technical difficulty po. Hearing po Ma'am Ariane. Hello, sir. Okay na Yan. po ba? Yes po. Thank you po, ma'am. Okay. So, pwede na po ulit? Sir, clear po ba? Sir? Yes po. Sige po, ma'am. You can po? start na po. We can hear you po. So again, let us bow down our heads and for those uh, who would like to make the sign of the peace. So let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we are truly grateful for this day as we meet virtually to learn together as we prepare for the coming semester. 
We ask thee to extend your divine wisdom to our speakers and trainers, that they may impart their knowledge effectively to all of us. Bless the participants as well, that they may glean the vital information from this activity. The past months have been challenging for all of us, but we believe and trust in you. May you bestow your blessings upon us that we may spread what we learned in the spirit of your love and generosity. We offer everything for your glory and we live these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So next to the program is the Philippine National Anthem. Bayang magiliw, pelas ng silanganan, alab ng puso, sa dibdib mo'y buhay. Ay, lupang hini. Bayang magiliw. Di ka pa sisigil sa dagat at bundok Sa simoy at sa langit mong bughaw May dilagang tula at awit sa paglayang minamahal Ang kislap ng wataw at mo'y tagumpay na nagniningning Ang bituin at araw niya kailan pa may di magdidilim Lupa ng araw ng walhati pagsinta Buhay langit sa piling mo Aming ligaya na pag may mga api ang mamatay ng dahil sa iyo. So to give to us the mission, vision, quality policy, and core values of Partido State University, let us have Mamrina Abner the program director of the BS Accountancy to give to us, to lead to us, or cite to us, the VMQPCV, Ma'am Rina. Um, good morning, dear PSC community. May I just check, sir, if you can hear me clearly? Yes, ma'am. So let's have the uh, Purdue State University vision, mission, quality policy, and core values. Vision, the leading university in geology, bioresource science, and environmental management in the Bicol region. Mission, to provide quality instruction in the arts, philosophy, sciences, technology, and other relevant courses, and create a competitive advantage in research, extension and production services for the socio-economic upliftment of the Bicolanos. Quality policy. The Purdue State University commits to provide quality instruction, responsive research, and needs-based extension services for global competitiveness and satisfaction of its clients, stakeholders, regulatory bodies, and other service providers through the continual improvement of the quality management system. Core values, P, passion for excellence, S, service for client satisfaction, and U, unity for stability. Thank you, Ma'am Rina. So at this juncture, let us hear the opening remarks and statement of purpose by our Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Josefina A. Borromeo. Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much, Ken. To our university president, uh, Dr. Raul G. Bredesina, the Dean of the Student Affairs and Services, Dr. Gemma Barcelliano, college and campus deans who are with us today, also the very hardworking program directors, university officials, 
are very dedicated IT faculty and personnel who never gets tired of helping us prepare and cope in this time of pandemic. Of course, especially to Sir Ken Kuya, faculty members of Partido State University, if we have any with us today, my dear students of Partido State University, good morning. We cannot deny the fact that COVID-19 uh, really took a heavy toll on all aspects of our lives. May it be economic, social, and even educational. Uh, with this pandemic, it is not advisable for us to hold face-to-face -face classes. I know this is uh, quite difficult for us, the fact that we are not ready for this kind of situation. However, we cannot also take the situation sitting down and doing nothing. So we are very much concerned with your education, but of course, my dear students, we are more concerned with your safety. If you will be coming to school every day, you might be more exposed to the virus. Might as well stay at home and learn there. As of now, I know that, as I have said, it's really difficult for all of us. Ngayon mamayo po kami ng gadget, mayo po kami ng laptop, mayo kami ng cell phone na pwedeng gamiton. Okay. Ngunyan dahi pa man po mga aki minapuroon ang satuyang klase. Pwede kita mag-ipon, magturo-trabaho, tabangan si mama, saka si papa o si nanay, si tatay, na makakuan nindikit na sintimos, so satuyang pamasahe, so satuyang balunon, ipunon, tanganing makabakal kita ni sarukman lamang na laptop o computer sa harong na pwede nang gamiton kang buong pamilya. Sa pagkaaram ko, dakol na kitang mga estudyante na nagkuan na kang TES. O, smile man dyan, so nagkuan na ng TES. Na pwede ta pong gamiton ng pangbakal, ng gadget para sa satuyang pag-adal. Ini kaya mga aki na online learning, ibang iba ini kesa duman sa face-to-face -face na learning sa laog din sa tuyang classroom. Pag online learning, mas nakabalyo ang dakulang responsibilidad sa indo mga aki kan sa indong pagkanood. Kasi kung yaong kita sa classroom, yaon si ma'am, yaon si sir, madali on maghapot kun may pigpapaliwanag na daita na iintindihan. Pero mga aki sa online learning, makaka-explicar man si ma'am o si sir pero limitado talimbawa da ipwedeng i-video ni ma'am o ni sir ang leksyon sa laog ning sarong oras tabaka maubos na ang sa indong load ka iyan naiintindihan mi na magabat magload kaya ang gigibuhon ta itong mga importanteng maray na dapat talagang maipaliwanag kan sa indong mga faculty pwede iyan i-video Putol-putol lang harali po tanganing da maubos ang sa indong load, may matada pa para duman sa sa indong masunod na klase. Itong iba gigibuhon tama ning asynchronous. Pwede ka mong mag-maintain ning sarong group chat, magamit pa lang kita mga aki ning Google Classroom. So apwera kan aside from the Google Classroom, we can use other applications. Pero po ang pinaka-major na gagamiton ta, na uh, sa online learning ta in ng Google Classroom. And this is the very reason why we are having this tutorial. Although my plano na mag-face-to-face -face classes, ang PSU, ano, kita gabos, kung tutugutan kita mga aki kan sitwasyon, si Ringman, kung tutugutan kita kan DOH, as in LDU, pero bihirang maray ini mangyari. Sabi ko nga ni, we are very much concerned with your education, but we are more concerned with your safety. Mas gugustuhin mo po na nakakanood ka mo, nayaon ka mo sa saindong mga harong, 
ke sa madigdig ka mo, malunad, ara al daw, madipisilo na maray, delikadohon. Kaya maski masakit man ang satuyang sitwasyon sa araw ka ining paagi ning pagkanood, hihingwahon ta na makanood kita. Ang mga teachers po nag-aradal na mga aki ning Google Classroom, kaya kamo naman ang maadal tanganing pagralaugan ta ning Agosto. Si ma'am, si sir, sumanga so eskwela para rehong tatao mag Google Classroom. Ngunyan, maaradal ka mo ng uh, Google Classroom, tayo ini ang gagamiton tang uh, application sa pagtutukdo ngunyan na maabot na semester uh, 2020-2021. Ang magayon ka ini mga aki, talibre ini, mayo ini ning bayad iyo ini ang tabang sa Indukan PSU administration tangani na kamo man makakup sa pagbabag-o na sa tuyang inaatubang kaya pasalamat kitang maray digdi sa satuyang mga IT faculty lalong-lalo na ki Sir Ken na daing sawa na nagtutukdo sa satuyang mga maestro maestra uh, sa satuyang mga estudyante sa Indo manungod sa paggamit ka ining computer applications nagamit ta sa online teaching and learning. Kaya kung mapipwede, imbitaran nindo ang iba pang mga aram nindong mga estudyante digdi sa PSU. I-grab ta ining opportunity na ini. Takadakol pong mga maestro as in maestra ang mga yaon sa PSU nagsasakripisyo mo niyan mayo po ining bayad. Rayaon ang sa indong mga PDs, rayaon ang sa indong mga deans, as in iba pang mga teachers para lang matukduan ka mo nganing makakup kita, tarabang kita, karabitan kita, natawidun ta ining satuyang pinagaagihan mo niya na krisis na ining may COVID-19. Kaya ngunyan, mga aki, good luck sa sa indong pag-adal. Maging dalan man lugod ini, uh, ining tutorial na ini, tanganing maging madali ang pag-adal ta sa maabot na mga semestre. Thank you very much, Sagabos, and mga aki, good luck. Good morning, everyone. Thank you po, Mom Jo, for the message po and then, and then the opening remarks. So at this juncture po, let's have um, our first speaker. Adi po. Um, the program director of the Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, a faculty member of the College of Arts and Sciences, Institute of Information Technology, to this, discuss to us our first topic, mobile networks in flexible learning. Friends, please welcome Sir Nicholas A. Pupa. Sir Nick. Okay, good morning to all our viewers and listeners. So for this morning, I am tasked to introduce to you some concepts, which is uh, mobile networks and flexible learning. Uh, it's because uh, we are going to have a flexible type of learning, wedding online, wedding offline. Da, so, hindi pa, ano. so in order for us to participate in this type of uh, delivery of instruction, it's um, it's right that we need to be oriented of some of the uh, things that we need to be using during this uh, semester. Okay, so let's start with the internet. So by definition, the internet is 
a worldwide collection of networks that connects millions of businesses, government agencies, educational institutions, and individuals. On the right side of your screen, you can see here a simple subset of the so-called internet. We have here on the right side the different types of devices that we can connect to the internet. At the bottom left, we have here the globe, which symbolizes the world where we live in. And then we have here different types of objects like tying servers, printers, tablet, laptop, um, other devices. Pa. So these are the things that we need to participate to the internet. Okay, so you will ask, how do we connect to the internet? Of course, we need to have an ISP. ISP, this is the type of business which their main uh, function or purpose is to provide internet access to individuals or organizations. Commonly, when we talk about mobile networks or mobile internet connection, this uh, logo I have right here, ito yung mga common uh, brands or products that we are subscribed in. So, lima sila. So, we have Token Tech, Sun Cellular, Smart, Globe, and uh, Touch Mobile. This different um, company or brands delivers us services so that we can access the internet. Okay. You will also ask, how about if we do not have access to those uh, products or brands? What are the other means that we can uh, access the internet? So you can use wireless or sometimes we call it Wi-Fi or mobile broadband. These are different types of um, wireless access. So, pa, saan galing yung Wi-Fi or paano tayo maka-avail ng Wi-Fi? If we visited uh, organizations like mga cafeteria sa bahay ng mga neighbors natin and friends, they have this Wi-Fi. Yung mobile broadband, as I have listed it here, this represents yung mga pinakita ko kanina ng mga brands. Okay? So, Yung ito, fixed wireless sa satellite internet service, these are uh, being subscribed by company. Pero tayo sa individual, as an individual, ito yung dalawa na pwede nating ma-access. Okay, another is a hotspot. So walang wireless, pero merong hotspot. Ano naman yung hotspot? Okay, if you have a queue, your phone, which is connected to the internet through data, and then you have your friends or neighbors na gusto man mag-connect sa internet, we can create our own wireless network by enabling the hotspot uh, module or functionality in our smart device or other uh, network device that offers hotspot functionality. So in this um, uh, diagram that you see here, Ito yung mga devices, itong circle na to, or what we call this, this object here na naka-enclose, yan ang member ng iyong hotspot. Okay, paano ka nag-connect sa internet? So, that's another story, which I already talked about earlier, before this slide. Ano? So, dito, meron ka ng connection. Kunyari, ito, connected ka na sa Smart, or sa TNT, or sa, sa Globe, or sa TM. Yun na yun. Then you create your own network or hotspot. Okay, let's talk about the common transmission speed of the internet. Kasi it's the, ano, it's, it's the uh, parang buzzword. Ano, pag sinabing internet connection, ang hapot is, mabagal nga ang ano ko, internet, ano ano nga yung speed mo, ano pag subscribe mo speed. Okay, technically, uh, we call bandwidth. Pag, pag, in, pag inuralayan ta ang, ang transmission or connection speed ta sa internet, we actually talking about bandwidth. This is the amount of data that travels over the network per second. Okay? So, this is, uh, here, this items here sa baba, kilobit, megabit, gigabit, gigabit these are the uh, terms that we use to identify kung ano ang speed of connection igwa kita. So if somebody marketed you 
na uy magpakabit ka sa ko ni internet uh, ang kaskas ko ngaya 1 gigabit okay so medyo ano yan mabilis na mabilis yan pag megabit uh, average pag kilobit masyado na siyang mababa okay if we talk about wireless broadband yung sinasabi natin kanina na nakaano tayo naka uh, free data or naka data lang naka subscribe tayo sa globe or sa sa smart smart bro these are the common terms na naririnig natin ano ka ngayon naka 3G dahil ngayon ako ngayon naka 4G ano ngayon sa gawa ngayon 3G sa tigawan ngayon 4G ano ngayon ang gusto sabihin ka yan so, it simply means na nakakaigwan yung comparison in terms of the speed of transmission na nangyayari sa sa indang type of network if you are on a 3G type of network Ito yung mga lumang SIM card. <clears throat> Ang speed mo nagva-vary from 144 kbps to 3.84 mbps. O dyan. Yung itong nasa right side, yung 3.84, this is the top. Dahil ka na dyan malampas. Pag naglampas ka pa dyan, uh, nagbago na si network. Mabaho ka ng 3G. Okay? Now, if you are, sasabihin mo nasa ano ka, 4G network, sa duman nyo sa kuyang smart device, nagluluwas 4G, so ito naman yung iyong range of ano. Ah, uh, ililinawin ko lang ha. This is range. Hindi po ibig sabihin 3G ka, ito agad ang makukuha mo. 384, no. It could be 0, it could be 60, 100, mga ganyan. So nagva-vary siya. Ganun din dito sa 4G. It doesn't mean na nakalagay dito 42 megabit per second na mara-receive mo. You can actually receive it, hindi po ganun ang setup. Nakadepende yan sa maraming factors. Like, for example, your distance from your cell site or from your um, ISP. Tapos next is, nasaan ka ba? Malapit ka ba sa lugar na maraming punong kahoy? So, the more trees you have, the more lower your bandwidth will be. Ano, mas mahabagal ang transmission pag maraming kahoy. So, dapat, dumang ka lang sa banta at sa saldang, ano para makaskas ang receive mo. Pero dapat nasa range ka man sa imong network o sa imong cell site. Okay. Let's talk about transmission media. Ang transmission media, gusto sabi yung kaini, ini itong mga iba-ibang klase na kung paano kita nagko-connect sa tuyang network. Okay? So meron tayong dalawang category, wired and wireless. We, um, for the sake of this discussion, masyadong mahaba kasi, I'll skip the wired type pang mga ano kasi ito, pang mga businesses ito. Most of the time, fiber optic, copper wire, pang businesses or sa mga bahay siya pinakabit. So hindi yun pag-uusapan natin ngayon. We're talking about wireless transmission media. So under wireless transmission media, we have broadcast radio, cellular radio, microwave radio, communication satellite. Of this four, I highlighted cellular radio. Bakit? So yung common sa atin. Kasi as I am interviewing student applicants, sasabihin nila, uh, uh, my question is, ano bang meron ka na means para makapag-connect so that makapag-aral ka during the semester? Ay, ngayon sir, nagdi-data lang ngayon kami. Or ako pala, sabi niya. Tapos, anya kung gamit mo? Phone lang ngayon, sir. Tapos, kung ano-ano pa. Okay. So if you are using a smartphone, tapos naka-data ka, you are using the wireless transmission media and you're using the cellular type or cellular radio type of connection. Okay? So, dito, sa right side ng aking screen or on your screen also, you can see that ito yung iba-ibang klase ng media may kita natin. Kung may poste like this one, gumagamit sila ng wired. Tapos, ito naman, sa mga servers, gumagamit sila ng wired. As you can see, this laptop here, Meron siyang means of connection using microwaves or tawag nating mga cell sites. Kaya yeah, ini mga tower na ini, they nagsisend sila ng signal. So this laptop here is receiving internet connection via uh, via uh, cellular radio. O yung tinatawag natin, ano, sa product type, 
meron tayong tinatawag na smart bro, uh, mga yung sa phone. Okay? Ito naman, this PC here, connected naman siya through a modem, through wired. Okay? So, makikita natin ito, naghalo-halo sila, but they are communicating. Nakaka-connect sila sa network, although they use different transmission media. So, introduce natin siya. Alin ba mas mabilis? Wired o wireless? Okay. Mas mabilis sa wire. Kaya lang, problem naman sa wire, may kita natin, is you need to be connected. Nasa bahay ka, so pa-plug mo yung device mo. Eh, nasa kalsada ka, dadalhin mo ba yung mahabang-mahabang wire? Kaya saan ka magpunta? Siyempre, hindi. That's why, mas nagiging uso na yung cellular radio. Kasi, one small piece of device lang, or ganito lang, Uh, meron ka ng internet access, makakapag-Facebook ka na or any, any application that you use online. Okay, let's take a look at the diagram or a picture depicting the how we use cellular radio. So as you can see, meron tayo dito ang ano, uh, we have here yung mga bahay, then other places. We have here uh, towers, eto towers we call it cell site if you can see this box here etong color purple na to color orange na to or ba to gold then this gray it represents that each of the cell tower can only broadcast inside of this uh, shaded area here uh, in theory uh, each cell site can actively send signal for data at a range of 2 kilometers from the center. From here, hanggang dito, meron kang 2 kilometers. Maximum na ang 2.5. So pag nawala ka na, nasa 2.6 ka na, <clears throat> you have to expect na wala ka ng access sa iyong data. So, kasi wala ka dito sa cell. Kaya siya tinawag na cell site. Kasi ito, Um, in this diagram also, you can see that all of the cell sites, meron silang part na kung saan sila nag, eto, nag meet Para from here, halimbawa, dito ka, nandito ka sa loob ng sasakyan, gamit mo ang phone mo, nag-data ka, then nagta-travel ka. Pagdating sa part na to, wala na siyang shaded, gaya nito. So disconnected ka na sa part na to, right? Then as you move your car towards this location, pagdating dito, may cell site na, di ba? Ito, gray, may cell site na. So by that time, may signal ka na naman. So for example, if you live, kunyari in Tigaon, then you, you, you go to Goa, then habang nagbabiyahe ka, nakasahe ka sa sa deep, sa tricycle or what, nag-internet ka, nag-data ka. So pagdating mo sa may bandang somewhere in Katagbakan, na you approach the bridge in Katagbakan, you will notice na nagpaparababa ang signal because nasaan ba yung, kunyari, ano ba, ano mo, ano ba ISP mo? Kunyari, you're receiving signal from <clears throat> smart telecom. So sabi mo, smart ang sa imong SIM, kaya nag-receive ka sa smart. Therefore, yung signal ng smart, nasaan ba yung tower ng smart sa Goa? I think nas sa, ano, nasa, nasa sentro, dito sa church, sa, Son sa San Juan Bautista Church malapit dyan yung cell, cell tower niya. So from that location, you have to estimate. Kasi hindi mo naman pwede sukatin. Ewan ko lang, kung kaya mong sukatin, so bahala kayo. So from that location, you have to count straight line. Kung hain ka, then sa katagbakan is probably more than 2 kilometers na na, around 3 na siya. So definitely, mawawalan ka na. So dapat maglalang smart ng another cell site somewhere in uh, Katagbakan or San Rafael dito sa may boundary. So that from Matakla to Katagbakan to San Rafael, meron siyang another cell site. So yon. So um, maintindihan natin na if this is the concept of cell sites, so talagang normal na when you pass through the limit na 2.5 kilometers, wala ka na talagang data. So you have to wait na naman. So what what should you do para hindi mawala ng data signal? Is stay within this shaded range, okay? So 
Now let's proceed to simple troubleshooting or common questions na na-experience ng isang mobile broadband user. Okay. Let's clarify first. Ano, sometimes, nami-misinterpret natin that pag may Wi-Fi da, may internet. Okay. Common, ano yan, common misconception. Ayaw, bakong panganiban, hmm. conception. Ayaw. So, Wi-Fi doesn't mean internet. It just so happen na pag may Wi-Fi sa sarong lugar, may internet. Ibig sabihin kasi ng Wi-Fi, on your area, kunyari sa bahay ninyo, meron kayo doong device na capable siya mag-broadcast ng wireless um, uh, network. Now, pag, pagka yung wireless network nyo sa bahay, meron kayong network sa bahay nyo. Pwede kayong, uh, if you have, you will have now a WLAN or wireless LAN sa bahay nyo. If you have printers, computers, other devices, Android devices, you have the smart refrigerator, smart stove, smart, ano pa, kung ano anong smart, you can have your own network. Ibig sabihin, meron kang smart uh, washing machine, nasa, nasa loob ka ng room mo, nilagay mo na yung labahan mo doon sa washing machine mo, using your Wi-Fi sa loob ng bahay, pwede mong isend yung command para mag-on yung washing machine. Pero, since wala kayong access sa internet kasi you only have your wireless LAN, hindi ka makakonek sa internet. Pero, you have your own network sa bahay ninyo. If you, ano, marunong ka maggumawa ng program, simple chat, kunyari, you can communicate within your home gamit yung application na ginawa mo, implemented siya using the wireless LAN. Okay? So, clear po ano, Wi-Fi is not equal to internet. But most of the time, pag may Wi-Fi, <coughs> may internet. Okay, simple scenario. <clears throat> Sa mga bahay, we have here, kunyari, ito, this is, this is your Wi-Fi sa bahay and you are connected through a smart bro device, this one, which is, of course, connected to a smart cell site. Siyempre. Now, common problem is, is na encounter natin. So, may Wi-Fi ngayon kami, naka-internet ngayon kami, right? Ito yung picture. Now, what if nawala yung signal mo dito from the, ano, from the tower? Nawala. Kunya, nag-browned si tower. So, you still have your Wi-Fi here, but you do not have access to the internet. Okay? Since you have your Wi-Fi sa bahay, kayo lang ang may connection. Ito lang mga device na ito nakaka-connect sa bawat isa. Pero kung nag-Facebook ka, nag-YouTube ka, expect mo na uh, disconnected ka na. Kasi wala ka nang access sa internet. Pero may access ka pa sa Wi-Fi. Okay? Sa Wi-Fi sa bahay. So gusto mo mag-print. Ikaw, ikaw kunyari gumagamit itong laptop. May assignment ako. Binigay sa'yo. You need to submit it in hard copy. You can print using your wireless printer or kung anong type of device meron dyan sa bahay niyo. Okay? So this is a typical pinapakita with you have a simple Wi-Fi with internet. Okay? And then biglang nawala yung connection mo sa smart. So ano na lang, you now have your wireless LAN but you cannot access the internet. So kung may ginagawa ka sa Facebook, sa YouTube, kung sa ano-ano pa, wala na yon. You have to wait naman na bumalik yung connection mo. Okay? So, some questions such as, why does my phone app respond very slow every time I connect to the internet? Mabagalan nga yan sa kuyang ano, application. Depende sa application na ginagamit mo. Next, uh, first thing you should check is what type of network you are connected. Kasi baka yung network mo, tingnan mo yung, yung symbol sa baba yung sa network, yung mga symbol ng Wi-Fi na may, may signal range, baka naka-one lang yung ano mo, bar, one bar ka lang, <clears throat> talagang mabagal ang network mo. Or since you are considering a phone application, baka yung cellphone mo, puno na yung kanyang space, so hindi na siya makapag, uh, mabagal na siya mag, mag-process ng mga, mga programs, kaya na-affect yung 
yung connection mo with your ano posibleng mabilis yung connection mo sa internet pero yung local phone mabagal anong dapat natin gawin we can check if there are files that we no longer need sa ating phone para mabawasan yung space consume or sabi ng iba sana all bili ka ng bago mas malakas gaya ng Huawei ano man ito ken yung mga bagong-bagong device or bagong-bagong smart devices or smartphone. Okay, another question. Why is my upload or download taking too long to finish? So, nag-upload nag ka kunyari or nagda-download ka. Nag and then, sabi mo, halo yun nga niya. Anong nga ta nabot nga yung siyam-siyam ang pag-download ko? So, as I have stated earlier, mabagal lang yung signal reception. Kung baga sa ano, naka-single bar ka lang. Dapat kanyari is four bars. Naka-single bar ka lang. So, talagang Mabagal yan. O, anong pwede mong gawin? You need to move to a location where reception is strong. How do you find a strong reception location? You have to visualize in your head sa inbahali ang sa kong cell tower. Okay, hain ang cell tower ko. You need to move closer to the cell tower. Kunyara, you're located at the west. Then yung cell tower mo is somewhere on the east. So you need to move pasiring sa east para makuha mo itong maray na signal. Okay? So, ngunyan, depende na sa location mo. Kunyari, duman sa makusok ang signal, mainito, matyaga ka, magtayong ka. Or, some transfer, you, you really need to transfer kasi walang magagawa na kasi yung signal hanggang dun lang talaga. Yung machine mo or yung, yung smart device mo ang kailangan mag-adjust dun sa signal. Kasi yung signal natin, may limitation siya kung hanggang saan lang kaya niyang i-throw. Things that we can do is, we can lobby to the ISP, to the telco that kailangan maglagay sila ng maraming tower sa buong Pilipinas para yung radiation sama-sama tayo. Mas malakas ang signal, mas malakas ang radiation, mas mataas ang risk sa mga cancer, etc. Lala ka mo. Okay, Wi-Fi problem, connected but no internet. Iyo, common bagay, eh, no? So, pwede na ang gibuhon sa cellphone, kunyari, i-disconnect mo duman sa network and then i-reconnect mo na ulit. Or, i-reset mo yung Android phone mo. I-off mo, start mo ulit. Pag wala pa rin, oh, balik tayo doon. Asan ka ba? Baka talagang walang, walang internet connection yung wifi nindo. Kaya, yan yung mga, yan yung mga possible, ano, yan yung mga possible scenario. Okay, thank you for listening. I heard there will be an open forum later. So, Doon na lang tayo siguro mag question and answer. So, I will no longer consume your time. Doon pa sa ko. Sorry. So, thank you very much, Sir Nick. Yan. So, yung mga problema nyo po na na-experience sa internet or sa mo your mobile devices, especially when connecting to um, mobile data. So at least sana nakatabang po si Sir Nick po regarding with your problems na na-experience nyo po paggamit ng mobile internet. Now, if you have questions po, hindi po, um, um, i-reserve nyo po muna yung mga questions nyo. We will entertain questions pag-abot po ng um, open forum para po sararaon tapo, sararaon tapo siyang masimbagan. Ayan po. So sa mga kakarating pa lang po sa YouTube uh, sa, sa Zoom, welcome, welcome to our tutorial on Google Classroom for Students. Also, big shout out po sa ating mga participants via YouTube. You are 156 warm bodies. Hi, hi po. Um, shout out po sa inyong lahat. Pasensya po hindi po natin kayo maisa-isa. po. Pero we are so happy that you are with us today. To those naman po na nahihirapan pong mag-connect. Hindi po, don't worry. This is a recorded video, a recorded webinar. We will upload this video sa ating Facebook page, yung Farso Info page. Hindi po. And also, you can preview this or watch this via YouTube any time of the day. So, kung kailan po mas makusog ang internet nyo. And we will also um, allow you to download the video so that even though kahit offline kayo, you can still watch or re-watch pa ulit-ulit yung ating tutorial. So, we are... Yes, thank you. Thank you po. Thank you po.
sa ating mga comments po. So now, at this juncture, let us continue. Hadi po. So to give us a lecture on, it's all about files. So we have... We have our university linkage officer, a faculty member of the College of Arts and Sciences, Institute of Information Technology. Friends, I give you Sir Salvador Vibriones II. Sir Badong. Okay, good morning po to, to, so Good morning PSU community So uh, I will be discussing the different file types and file formats So our objective here po is to understand the different file types and format uh, for storing documents on a storage media, especially for use by computers, and second, to standardize the means of organizing and storing digital files. So, as we all know, computers stores all files as binary data. Ibig sabihin, yung mga data po natin were stored in a long strings of zeros and ones. So the files represents all different types of data, like the images, videos, documents, text files, spreadsheet, and so on. There are these are all considered as files and with different um, file formats. So even computer applications are also considered as files. Like for example, yung mga executable files and other computer applications are all considered files. So the question, how does a computer know that one chunk of data is an image and another chunk is a spreadsheet, word, or text file? So the answer, each file has a type, kind, or format, which is often reflected in its file extension. So for example, a student that docx, a file, is a docx document and has the extension docx, meaning the document is a Microsoft Word file. So um, let's differentiate the file type and file format because sometimes we interchangeably use these two words. So when we say file types, this is a name given to a specific kind of file. For example, for a Microsoft Word document and Adobe Photoshop document are two different file types. While file yeah. format describes the structure and content of the file. For example, the file type of an image file saved using JPEG compression may be defined as JPEG image file. And so, how does the computer detect a file? So, iba-iba po baga yung mga file and paano na didita kang, doc, kang, kang computer na ang file na ito is, let's say for example, a Microsoft Word file. So, what the computer did is first, um, kasi yung files don't always have an extension and sometimes an extension doesn't reflect the actual file format. In that case, computer can try a number of techniques to figure out the file type so that it can open that file in most appropriate program. So one way to detect the file is to look for clues inside the file data itself. So many file type because it starts with a file header with metadata. So every every file natin meron siyang file header and yung file header na yun merong metadata. Yun yung tinitingnan ng computer kung anong klaseng file type and file format yung file na yun. So for example, a GIF file always starts with the letter GIF and encoded in binary according to the ASCII standard na zeros and one. So, yun. And if a computer sees that sequence of binary data, it has a high confidence that the file is JPEG and can send it to an image viewing application. So the application can either successfully read and display the pixels or let the user know that the file isn't a valid, valid image file. Take note for that, uh, for example, for a GIF file to be opened or decrypted, 
there should have been a third-party software installed in your computer na ma-open or ma-decrypt ka itong GIF file. Otherwise, yung file na yun will not be open. So, let's... Um, ito po yung, yung mga talks about the yung mga file types and formats. And po, our computer loads many different types of files every day. So, you might already be familiar with some types of file, but as your journey to an in particular state university starts, you may discover exotic new files. Ano po, may mga madidiscover pa ka muna iba-ibang files. So please note, you know, always take it in your mind that for every file to be open or decrypted, a third-party software should have been installed in your computer. Otherwise, your file will not be open or decrypted. Alamat po. Okay. Okay. So here are any po si mga common files natin. Ano po? So, takadakulon po nga ni mga files. Ito po yung mga common files. We have document files, we have image files, video files, audio files, we have application and executable files, compressed and compressed files and archives files. Mga files po sinda pero magkakaiba-iba. They fixate po sinda sa ibang klaseng format. Kaya, yeah. yun. Yeah. So, sa document files, ang pinaka-common po is yung doc and docx. So, ito pong doc and docx, these are files that were created using your Microsoft Word documents. So, basically, um, pag igwa ka po, ning, pag nagibo ka ng, let's say, for example, letter sa Microsoft Word documents, yung document po na yun will be saved as doc or docx document. Ano po? So, uh, ining document, uh, uh, yeah, ining file po na yan is very great for writing essays, presenting graphics, rich text, etc., and they allow users to edit them after the work is done. Another document file is PDF or yung portable document format. So ito po is a format pioneered by Adobe. So meaning, um, ginagamit lang po itong PDF file for sharing, document sharing. Meaning, after mong magibo yung file sa masave sa PDF, you can no longer edit that file kasi intended lang po siya for viewing. Kung si file mo gusto mong habo mong ma-edit siya or yeah, ma-edit kang iba, dapat PDF file siya. No rest, sir. Bakong single. Pahini siya lang kung ako na lang mas mga. Okay. So another document file na common sa Toya is yung PPT or PPTX. So, these files are standard file formats for Microsoft PowerPoint. Pag nag-give po kita ng, Microsoft, ng document sa Microsoft PowerPoint, yung format niya, yung file type niya po is PPT or PPTX. So, uh, usually, yung PowerPoint presentation documents po natin were used for presentations with the slideshow. So, this can may include text, images, graphs, tables, or even animation and video or audio files. So, yep. And uh, another document type is yung text or TXT. So, these files are the most basic plain text file format available. So, once you installed Microsoft uh, uh, Windows OS in your, operate, in your computer, automatic meron po siyang Word Pad or notepad wherein you can write documents in text format. Dahil ka na po kayo po na mag-install ngayon ng Microsoft Word kasi may automatic meron po siyang uh, notepad or wordpad na itong document na masisave ni Indo Duman are in text format. Okay. Another document file na common is yung ODT. Yung ODT po is an open document text. These files are Text documents that are similar to document files. These files are created with an open and opened by Open Office Writer. Yung Open Office Writer is a counterpart of Microsoft Office. Now, Microsoft Office Word po, na open source po siya. So, yung document na masisave magagawa niyo doon is an ODT file. And another common is yung XLX or XLS files, or yung file na yun are file format for documents written in Microsoft Excel 
or yung spreadsheet po natin. So this file stores data in worksheets that contain cells arranged as grid of rows and columns. So basically, yung spreadsheet is used for some financial data or mathematical computations. So yun. And let's proceed sa image file. So the common image files are the JPEG, PNG, GIF, PSD, and yun, mga common po sila. So saroon sa po. Yung JPEG or the Joint Photographic Expert Group, when you use this file, ito po yung pinaka-common. And yung JPEG images have a sliding scale of compression that decreases file size tremendously. Halimbawa nga yung save mo itong image nito as JPEG, yung, yung file size nyo po is nagiging sadit. Take note po na ang sarong document igwa siya ng size. So yung size po nagbabari sa kung ano, kung gura no, kadakula itong satuyang file po na ito. Halimbawa sa image nga ya, uh, isave to siya as JPEG. Ang original, ang original uh, size niya ngayon is 200. When we save it sa JPEG, magiging 50 na lang po siya. Yung size niya. So, ibig sabihin pag 50, madali po siyang mailoload sa dawa anuman na browser. Ano po? Or ilo-load sa dawa anuman na application viewer. Second is PNG or Portable Network Graphics. So, this file type is amazing for interactive documents such as web page but are not suitable for printing. Well, PNG are looseless, meaning you can edit them and not lose quality, they are still low resolution. So, medyo between JPEG and PNG, haraba ba po ang PNG but low resolution po siya. If you compare this two images sa baba po, yung JPEG and PNG, mas crisp po ang resolution ni JPEG compared to PNG, mas malabo po nikikit ang PNG. Ano po? Yeah. Next is yung GIF natin, so yung Graphics Interchange Format. This format is normally used for animation. Kung gusto mo po ng mga animation, isisave mo po itong mga image mo in GIF format. So it compresses images, but as different from JPEG, the compression is lossless. So meaning, no detail is lost in the compression, but the file can't be made as small as JPEG. So medyo GIF it consumes, ay kung baga takula manggirara si file po nito. And last common file for image is the PSD. So basically, yung PSD file is uh, files that are created and saved in Adobe Photoshop. Halimbawa, si kamu po kung nagagamit ka man Adobe Photoshop, si image po or si mga document na magigibo po nindudoman are saved in are all PSD files. So this type file, this file contains layers that makes modifying the image much easier to handle. So, yan po. And for video files naman po, um, the common file formats for video, we have the AVI, the FLV, the WMB, MOV, and MP4. Po. So, sarap, sarap again. Yung AVI or audio video interleave, the oldest video format developed by Microsoft, Tang 1992, is part of the Windows technology. Ano po, due to its simple architecture, AVI files are able to run a number of different systems like Windows, Mac, Linux, and so on. Ang kagayunan po kang AVI, ano po, once nag-install ka ng Microsoft Windows, ang OS mo po is Microsoft, automatic na po siyang naka install to man kasama sa kairiba sa package. So, you don't need to install a third-party software para mo open yung AVI files. Second is the FLV or the Flash Video Format. Ito po, uh, videos are that are encoded by Adobe Flash. So, iba naman po ang developer niya, Adobe Flash software naman po siya. And ang difference niya naman po is uh, sa AVI is they can be played via Adobe Flash Player. So, ibig sabihin, you will need to install another a third-party software so that your FLB video uh, ma, ma open po siya. Next is WMV. So, yung WMV po is a Windows Media Video. This video my format developed by Microsoft. Ano po? Was originally designed for web streaming applications. So this is different from 
um, AVI, although from Windows hindi, pero ang pinaka objective niya is for web streaming. So, WMV files are the tiniest video files. This small file size is probably the only video file format that allows users to upload and share their videos through email. Kasi nga, when you save your video and WMV, ginigibo po niya is kinocompress siya ng sadit na maray para mai madali po siyang mag-load sa dawa anuman na browser. Okay, normally yun po ang ginagamit. And kung may Windows po tayo, meron din tayong pang Mac. Yung Mac OS user po, they are using MOV. Yung MOV po, uh, developed din po siya kang Apple or the QuickTime file format is a popular type of video sharing and viewing format amongst the Mac OS. So it is often used on web and for saving movie and video files. So basically, if you want to open an MOV file, you need to have a quick time X para ma-open mo po siya. Last po na video file, common video file format is the MP4. So this is an abbreviated term for MP4 of part 14, a standard developed by the motion pictures expert group. So basically, very common po sa tuya in MP4. Ano? So, commonly used for sharing video files on the web. The MP4 file format is also another great file sharing format for web. Kasi nga ni, medyo uh, the compression, itong pag-compress kang video, nagiging sadit po. po. And for audio file, uh, the common file formats for audio file, we have the M4A, we have the FLAP, we have the MP3 and also have the MP4. We have the WAV and WMA. So M4A is an MP4 audio file. It is an audio compressed file used in the modern setting due to increased quality demand as a result of cloud storage and bigger hard drive space in contemporary computers. While the flat or the free lossless um, audio codec is an audio file compressed into a smaller size of an original format. It is a sophisticated file type that is lesser used among audio format. Medyo between M4A and FLAC, medyo dikit po ang nagagamit na nagsusupport kayo. Okay, so another common audio file is yung MP3. So medyo kung mga panahon po, baga ano, nagluwas ito ng MP3. This is also an MP3. MPEG audio layer 3 file format. This format compresses the file that maintains near flawless quality of the original source of sound. Medyo, ibig sabihin, sinabi niya pong near flawless kasi si original medyo iguan yung dikit na pagkakaiba. De, pero dahil man siya magkaray. So, alimba, yung crispiness kang sound, medyo dahil po na-capture 100% kang MP. While ang MP4 for just the same with um, the MP4, the ginagamit for video. It also uh, used to record audio file. Is often this. So MP4 format or file type is comprehensive media extension capable of holding audio, video, and other media. So ang kagayon po kang MP4 pang video na siya, pang audio pa siya. So double purpose. And yung WAV naman po, or WAV, is a waveform audio file format that stores waveform data. So the waveform data stores presents an image that demonstrates strength of volume and sound in specific parts of the WAV files. And yung WMA, very common naman po ito sa atin kasi mga Windows user po ta, is a Windows media audio, a Windows-based alternative to more common and popular MP file so yeah and another file format yung compressed files and archives format very common po ano kung habot na pong ma, ma edit o mahiling may protection po duman sa sato yung file we compress yung file natin and we use yung zip or rar ano po? so these are the two common compressed files and archives format so yung zip po is the most common and widespread archive format. So this file extension represents archives that can hold one or more files or directory. Samantala, yung RAR files po is an extension represent archives file that are created for storing information in 
compressed or normal form. So the format is used to archive files with different methods, including virus compression techniques. So, so para ma-view mo itong document mo na na-compress mo using itong zip or RAR, you need also a third-party software. May iba may mga proprietary, lalo na po itong, 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 itong RAR po. But there are third-party software na, 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 na libre po or compatible for Windows and Linux OS. And another common file is the application and executable files. Yung mga application and executable files, these are file formats that contain codes that is run while the file is open. Halimbawa, ngayon, yung ba, kung baga mga installer natin, yung installer natin contains code na once you, 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 you open that, nag, nag i install po siya. Katong halimbawa, ngayon, um, nag-download ka po ngayon yung game, yung game mo ngayon na pang Android na yun is nakasave as siya as APK and, and pag tig-open mo po siya, ma-install yung content po ng file na yun. So these files perform a predetermined set of instructions. Uh, instructions when opened and are stored in non-readable binary format. So hindi niyo po makikita yung laman ng file na yun kasi nga non-readable binary format po siya. Mahiling lang po nito doon mga ASCII code ng mga zeros and one. And for complete list of application and executable file formats, ito po, you can visit this um, site. And don't forget again, for you to be able to open a particular file, dapat igwa po ng third-party software na naka-install duman sa inyong computer to open or to decrypt that file. And for complete list of files, si mga da ko po nabanggit na mga file type, or and for complete list of this file type, you can visit this website. It presents um, yung ito mga file types na na iba iba po ang kaya. Ano so? Uh, bakit ka ilang ng may intindihan nindo ang file types? Kasi nga ni si teacher nindo minsan ano po mahagod sa indoning mga mga documents na dapat isubmit and yung mga documents po na ito igwa po ng particular file type na hata doon sila. Halimbawa, ngayon, mag-submit ngayon ka mo sa kuya ng narrative report in a PDF format. So, paano tagigibo ng PDF format? Dapat familiar po kita doon. Ano po? So, for questions, later, may open forum. I will answer your questions. And thank you very much. So thank you, Sir Badong, for that very concise, um, detailed lecture on all about files. So at this juncture po, um, I would like to give a shout out to muna hadi sa ating mga nasa Zoom. Yan. Welcome po, welcome po. Thank you for staying with us. I know some of you are having a hard time connecting, but still, you manage po na makakonek po sa atin. Also, we would like to give shout out po sa YouTube, no? Um, hi po, hi po sa inyong lahat from Laurel District, Batangas Province. Hi, welcome po. Thank you so much po for staying with us. Um, from SMTVS by Mr. Ryan Valiente. Yes po. Also from Liloa Norte Elementary School of Inabongan in the Bungan Province District. Thank you, thank you po for joining with us. So at this juncture po, <clears throat> let's, uh, let us have or discuss po Google Classroom Management. So this is our topic three. Your lecturer for this one is yours truly, Mr. Kennedy Kuya. I will give the lecture on how are you going to manage your Google Classroom, specifically if you are using mobile devices. Okay, so let me just give me a um, couple of seconds for to set up my presentation.
So, okay, we're back. So, this is Google Classroom Mobile. So, I will give you the bits po. This is a sort of a crash course. Ano po? Crash course. So, please permit me to speak either in Tagalog or in English. I will minimize the call because as as of now, meron tayong mga bisita po online. We have from Batangas po. We have from Liloan. Yan. Hi. Hello po. Um, elementary school. Hello po. Shout out po sa inyong lahat. So let's continue. So the outline of my presentation is as follows. So first, what is Google Classroom? So let's discuss. Ano lang to ha? Mga pahapyaw lang po. So why Google Classroom? Bakit tayo? Bakit, bakit among all um, all learning management systems available online, why we choose um, Google Classroom for this first semester. Also, how to um, install and then how to connect um, in the Google Classroom using your mobile devices. And of course, yung pinaka-core ng aking outline is the demo. So stay tuned. So let's continue. Um, Google Classroom, why Google, uh, sorry, what is Google Classroom? So Google Classroom is an LMS, no? What is an LMS? LMS stands for Learning Management System. This is a product by Google for Education. Ano po? So, um, sa Google Classroom po, we can create or join classes. Yung mga teachers po natin, hi, hello po. You can create classes using Google Classroom. And then to our students, um, you will join the classes. No, So, Google Classroom is a free web-based platform. Free. Wala po tayong babayaran dito ni Tiso. Ang ano lang po natin dito, ang puhunan po natin is the data. No? So Classroom is a free web-based platform that integrates your G Suite for Education account. So technically po, para po ma-access nyo to, dapat meron kayong Gmail account. So yun lang po. Basically, dapat meron lang po tayong Gmail account. And then once meron na tayong Gmail account, so, this will include Google Docs. You can use that, especially kung nahihirapan kayong gumawa ng mga outputs nyo um, in Word. Kasi pwede din kayong mag-integrate or gumawa mismo directly on your devices. Yun ang kagandahan ng Google Classroom. Also, we have the Classroom saves time and paper. So, ano na siya? Paperless. <clears throat> Bakit siya paper? Bakit po siya paperless? Paperless po siya because um, online po lahat ng submission. Also, ino-organize din po ng Google Classroom ang lahat ng submissions nyo in a one single folder. So, kaya pag chineka niya ng teacher nyo, mas madali po ang, ang pag-manage both the teacher and the students. So, uh, also, this will um, you are also notified. no Notified po ng lahat ng mga um, course requirements. Yan. You can also communicate uh, communicate to your classmates and to your teacher as well. So, Google Classroom, let us um, collaborate dun po mismo sa ating virtual classes. So, let's continue. Why Google Classroom? Number one, basically, Google Classroom is easy to learn. No, uh, Yeah, it's really easy to learn. Um, it is made po um, Para po sa lahat. Even, hindi po kailangan ng ano, hindi po kailangan ng certification para po matuto ng Google Classroom because for the... Man, this is intuitive. No, mas madali. Um, very ano siya, kahit anong, uh, the interface is so, ano, so, ma, ano siya, madali siyang maintindihan. Learnable. Okay? So we have keep students work organized and ease of communication between teacher and student because at this point in time especially we are in pandemic no um hindi, uh, hindi kayo inaallow na pumunta sa school so the means for you to communicate is pwede kayong messenger pwede kayong um, telegram whatsapp or any forms ng communication chosen by your um, teacher or kayo po mga teacher, kayo po mamimili kung ano po mas accessible sa ating mga students. And then sa mga students naman natin, alam na uh, alam ko na 
mga ano kayo, magagaling kayong mag-discover on your own, even without, you know, even without um, teaching you the basics. So, ayan, so Google Classroom. Now, so how to access the Google Classroom site? So basically, ito po yung type natin, no? classroom.google.com. But I will not discuss this further because this is a separate session for, for Google Classroom using your desktop, laptop, or yeah, desktop, desktop or laptop devices. So in my lecture, I will focus on installation and uh, management of your Google Classroom using Android operating systems and then um, iOS or yung mga Apple products. So now let us dig in or dive into our demo. Now at, for this one, let please give me around a minute po to set up my phone and be able to share my screen to all of you. So good morning, good morning po. So ayan, magko-connect na po tayo using my first one. I will use um lecture po for. Now I will share my screen to those of you. Um, para po hindi po kayo mahirapan no mahirapan pong mag-connect uh, i would like to um or so loads po ng data nyo i would like to request na kung po pwede pakitanggal po or uh, i-turn off nyo po yung mga video nyo ayan po ano lang po yan ha friendly reminder po pero po kung marami po kayong load sige lang po so let's continue Okay, kita naman po ano. So, one minute na lang po. Okay, so, let's dig in. So, welcome po sa ating mga newcomers po no, na, na nandito po sa ating Zoom o sa YouTube po. Welcome, welcome. So, first to do is go to App Store. So, asa ng App Store? Ito yung App Store natin. So, click the App Store and then just type in here. Basically, ito yung lalabas. Dito sa lower portion, you have here search and then just type Google Classroom. Yan. So, once meron na kayo nito, just click search and then automatically, it will give you the um, the application. No. Um, Ang, prob ang case lang po dito, ayan, so medyo intermittent po ang, ang internet po ni Sir Ken. Ayan. So say for example, okay na siya, it will appear here na you are already you, you already have the um, Google Classroom. So once tapos na siya, na, sabi natin na install nyo, it will look like So let's click um, Classroom. Ayan. So, sa Google Classroom, so basically, ito po yung interface natin, no? Mga dear, uh, our dear students. So, to, to log in, no? You should use your own account. Okay. So, to use your own account, so anong gagawin nyo? Pwede kayo dito, no? Sa taas, ito po. Or you can use here. And then, 
click here in the settings uh, in the settings so pero po mas madali po or manageable dito po tayo sa sa taas sa upper right portion no so just click it and then let's add an account <clears throat> so once we add an account yan Okay, so we have network problems for so So, ayan po. So, we are already in the Google Classroom. So, nakita nyo po kanina, pasensya po, parang nakamute po yata ako. So, all you just have to do is type in po the email address, no? Uh, the, the email address should be what? Um, at gmail.com. Okay. Kapag po kasi at yahoo.com, hindi ka po makakalag in and you cannot, you will not be able to participate in the Google Classroom. Okay. So, once you're here, um, just click get started or get start and then yan, ilo-load na po yan ng Google Classroom. So, as you can see, um, you have here basic um, uh, interface. So, sabi dito, uh, uh, piece of advice, no? Dapat daw po, kahit anong application pa yan, we have to make sure na um, sa ulado natin kung ano yung interface. So with this one, let's let's try po. Eto, click natin itong, nakita niyo po itong nasa taas. Ayan, yung tatlong tatlong vertical lines. So in in IT, it's called a hamburger, no? Para para siyang hamburger, no. So this is a Navicon. So here we can access po classes, the calendar, classroom folders, the settings, and then send Google feedback and then some, you know, um, and a help function po. Here naman po, so itong kinili ko yung letter B sa upper portion, if you notice. So nandito po yung mga accounts na nandito sa phone. So to identify if what account are you using or you're using in the Google Classroom, yan pong nasa upper portion. So basically, so sabi natin po, um, ang ginagamit po natin ngayon is a dummy account of a BSIT student. So let's move on. <clears throat> now, to join a to join a class. So pag mag uh, pag mag enroll po kayo sa PSU, um, sa schedule po ninyo, uh, you will receive po an email. Uh, you will receive po an email na nakaindicate po yung mga Google Classroom codes 
ng mga teachers nyo. Okay. So, for this one, what we're going to do is to um, use an account. So, meron ta ang teacher po, ako pa rin. No? So, to join na naka, ay to join a class. So, dito po sa baba, ayan. So, sabi daw, to create or join your first class. So, click here. Ito pong plus sign. So, what are we going to do? Let's click that. And then, meron siyang option, right? So, we have to join a class or to create a class. For those teachers po who are listening right now, if you want to create an, a, a class using your mobile devices, yes, you may. Um, dito po tayo sa create class. But this um, webinar is focused on Google tutorial, uh, tutorials on Google Classroom for students. So, um, limited po tayo ngayon. No? So, dito lang po tayo sa join a class. Uh, join class. So, let's click join class. What will happen here is that it will ask for a um, class code. So, sa mga nanonood, nanonood po sa atin ngayon, nagpa-participate po sa Google, uh, sa YouTube, and then sa Sa Zoom, pwede nyo po, pwede kayong mag-join. So, let's have that. So, ang ating Google Classroom code is um, V2AGM2, sorry po, M2Z. So, that's V, yan po, that's V2AGM2Z. So, ayan po. So, sa ating mga... Um, participants, I will sa Zoom, I will send this code po sa ating message or sa ating chat para po kung gusto nyo po mag-follow po kayo, yan, it, it would be um, I will be glad na makaparticipate po kayo so ayan, so once we're done so ayan po, now dito po sa taas, ayan pag okay na po kayo, click nyo po dito join so you notice meron siyang progress bar na nasa taas, yung parang color blue. Um, it indicates po on the progress on kumusta na po yung status ng pag-join pag nyo po ng class. So sometimes it takes a while depending po on the nature or um, your network po. So yan. So we are already in the uh, Google Classroom of that particular teacher. No? So, wait lang po natin habang naglo-load. Again, one, um, every time po na first time pong magamit po or mag-access um, mag kayo sa isang Google Classroom, sometimes it takes a while kasi hinuhugot po lahat ng data doon sa class na yon. So, again, <clears throat> let's get all familiarized with the interface. Especially, especially sa mga students po na wala pa pong laptops, no? Wala pang laptop, pero merong smartphone, Ayan. So, makinig po kayong mabuti. So, here, this is a, um, a subject called HCI1. So, this is all for BSIT 1A. But, okay lang po. Take your time. Pwede nyo pong mag-join dyan. Kahit, uh, kahit anong oras po. So, um, this is for um, demo purposes. So, let's get all familiarized with the interface. So, Basically, check natin yung hamburger Navicon. Ayan, may dumagdag na po ito dito sa parting ito. Pansin nyo yung HTI1. So if you have eight subjects enrolled for this semester, first semester, academic year 2020-2021, walong subjects po na nakalagay dyan yung makikita nyo. Okay. So here, sa baba, kindly um, focus po tayo dito sa may bab uh, bab uh, babang portion. You have stream classwork, and people. So sa stream, parang lang yun yung sa Facebook, no? Yung sa, um, yeah, sa Facebook, yung wall. This is the wall of the class, no? Sa Google Classroom. Actually, you can share, you know, you can share. Hi po. Yan. Good morning. So and then, once you're done, click send. Ang send po, yan pong parang envelope na icon. And then once na successful na siya, your message will be received by all members of the class who are um, enrolled in the Google Classroom. Also, it will also be received by your teacher. 
ang max po yata ng I'm not pretty sure po pero I attended one webinar by Aerotech and they have uh, um, a lot of participants in YouTube and then um, they can accommodate up to a thousand um, students in one Google Classroom. So, kita nyo po, eto na siya, BSIT student. Hi po, good morning po. So, kung yung iba pong gustong mag-join or nag-join po sa atin, no, pwede po kayong mag-send ng message dito and, you know, to give a shout out to all of you. So, let's continue. <clears throat> so, this is the stream, right? Yan. So, let's um, dig in po dito sa people. Let's check people. So, ang people po, this is for you to know kung sino-sino yung mga members po or mga kaklase mo sa Google Classroom. So, as of now, since kami pa lang po, so this is, ang teacher nyo po is si Sir Kennedy Kuya, and then kung may mga iba pa pong students dyan, ayan, may nag, iwasan po natin ang mag-annotate, no? Ayan, salamat po. Okay, so, makikita nyo kung sino-sino yung mga kaklase nyo po na nandito. Yeah, to those who want to join, pwedeng pwede po. Now, let's move on with classwork. So, bago ako mag-classwork, again, meron tayong stream. Ano nga po yung stream? Stream is your wall. This is where all information regarding the class requirements, um, example po, um, you have to submit a paper, um, you're, nandito din nakalagay yung schedule nyo pong meeting, no? pwede po dyan. Also dito, makikita nyo din yung mga activities po. Yan. Na nakaprogram po sa loob ng Google Classroom na to. So, let's um, go to classwork. Dito sa classwork, I intended to, you know, uh, uh, for the sake of this tutorial, we have a quiz, we have an OFTW, and then, you know, something to read. So, pag may ganito, pansin nyo po, merong due. The teacher can give due date or identify a specific schedule po when mag end po yung submission, when you will be able to submit, no? Say, for example, this quiz will be available uh, until 12 p.m. this afternoon. <coughs> Sorry po. So, yan. And then this OFTW, so you can, to check po, no, we have two OFTWs. And uh, to check yung laman po ng, oh, sorry, mawag yung phone ko. <laughs> Para mo ma-check nyo po, just click it. Yan, and then you will be redirected to another page. And then, mapipreview nyo na po yung laman ng quiz. So, I selected po a quiz, no? So, ayan. So, meron po dito um, parang introduction or instruction po. So, this is a sample quiz for the tutorial. So, Ayan, nakita niyo po si Angelo Manzano commented on hi po, good morning. So, kung sino-sino po yung lahat na nagpa-participate real time, makikita niyo po kung sino yung nagko-comment, kung sino po yung nag-join. Ito po yung kagandahan sa Google Classroom. Okay, so I will not, ano po, I will not, um, ano pa, hindi ko papatagalin, tama ba? <laughs> Kasi baka ma-preempt ko. Pero let's see how to take a quiz. no So meron tayong quiz. So eto, to take a quiz, nakita nyo po tong attachments. So quiz number one. Let's click it. And then it you will be redirected to um, browsers po. So apparently, meron po ako tatlong browsers. So I'll just... Ayan, si Jonald Drosero. Hi. Hi po. Good morning. Ayan. So click natin to uh, and then you will be redirected to, uh, to this page. So in this one, you can take the quiz. No, So sometimes it takes a while, pero minsan mabilis naman po. Medyo mahina lang po yung signal dito sa Goa. Goa Camarines Sur. Kasi nasa loob po kami ng building. I brought my um, Wi-Fi. <laughs> so we have here quiz number one. So, sabi daw dito, true or false, the first major rule in programming, if it works, don't touch it. Is it true or is it false? It's true. Huwag niyong galawin. So, what is the meaning of CPU for two points? Central processing unit, cute pero ugly. 
Central Process Unit, kaya pero umayaw. So, may hugot ako, etong kukunin ko. Yeah, ipiliin ko. What starts with E and ends with E, but only has one letter in it? So, this is an envelope. Yan. And then, convert this to binary. So, ano lang? Okay. So, once you're done, no, um, taking the quiz, all you have to do is click submit. And then, uh, response submitted and assignment and mar mark as done. So, you can actually view your score. And your teacher has the uh, uh, access po whether to allow you to view your score or not. So, um, check natin yung score ni, sir, ni BSIT student. So, ayan. May mga mali. Okay. So, ganun po. No. So, let's go back sa classroom. So, once you're done, ganun lang po ang pag-take ng quiz. Okay po. So, <coughs> sorry po for that. Now, next is for this one, pag-submit po ng ating mga outputs. So, or, yeah. So, ang pag kaya, uh, kaya po nagbigay po ng lecture si Sir Badong regarding po sa, uh, sa mga files because there are cases po na ang mga teachers nyo po will require you outputs with a particular file type. Like say, for example, the file type is what? Um, an image file. No? Uh, a video file. Or a screenshot. Yan. No? So, we should be very careful um, and also follow po the instructions um, posted sa mga posted po dito. So, yan. So, that, ganun lang po. Actually, ganun lang po kasimple on how to manage your account in Google Classroom when you're using iOS. So, now, let me now try to connect to those na gumagamit po ng Android. Um, since mas madali na lang po ang ating, ano, ang ating session because mas ano po uh, para nag para nabigyan na po kayo ng ng intro doon po sa Google Classroom ay Google Classroom using mobile devices Wait lang po. We have some technical difficulties po. Ayan. So I'm back. Wait lang po. So if you have questions po no, regarding po this tutorial, please feel free right after po ng lecture natin. So, ayan. So ngayon, eto na po yung ating mobile device. So I am currently using an Android operating system, you know, an Android phone. Yan, kita ba? Okay, kita naman. So basically po, how to install. So to install, um, ano nga nag sa Android? So, dito tayo sa um, Play Store. So, yung Play Store po, eto. Ayan. So, click ko na yung Play Store. And, so, just wait and hit load. Welcome po sa ating mga kaka-join pa lang. Ayan. 
Andito po sa loob, sa parang nasa Zoom po natin, yung as president, hi po, ma, good morning po, sa internet. If you have questions po, i-note nyo lang po muna. Okay. Yay! So, ayan po. Okay, so. Sir, nakikita ba? Or wala ka pa? Okay po. So, ayan. So, ang nung gagawin natin po, first one, we have to type. Saan po tayo magta-type? We post upper version. So, so type po natin Google Classroom. Ayan. And click search. And then, once po, tapos na yan. So, kasi may participative um, internet po. So, ang device po ngayon. So, ano po gagawin natin? So, we have to do is select po yung Google Classroom po. So, once it's done, kita ba? Yeah. So, once it's done, na na-install na siya, na na siya, Google Classroom. So, paano po natin makikita na malalaman ang ating Google Classroom? So, I have here, I Okay po, pasensya po. Medyo nawawala-wala po yung net natin. So, let's continue. So, you are here now in... Um, yeah. So, all you have to do is click classroom. Yan. So, anong gagawin natin kapag... Actually po, parehas lang po yung ginawa natin dun sa iOS. Yun lang naman po pinagkaibahan nila. So, yung dynamic po natin is yung Google um, sa iOS is the App Store. Sa Android naman po is Play Store. So, let's try po. Medyo magkaiba lang po yung mga location. Pero wag po tayong masyadong um, um, malito. So, all we have to do here click po natin dito sa taas yung burger po, burger na bilang po natin. So, mamimili po tayo ng account. So, apparently or currently po, ang nakalogin po dito is ito po, Kennedy Kuya at parso.edu.ph. So, what are we going to do? So, maglalogin po tayo gamit yung bsit.student. So, to do that, dito po sa baba, ito, uh, ikiklik po natin yung add another account. So, click on another account and you will be redirected to a page. Ayan. And then, hihingi po siya ng um, username and then the password. Ayan. Ito sa login. So, once po you're done, what will happen is, kita nyo na po ito. So, 
So, for example, you are enrolled in BSIT here. And then, you can see po, so as of now, wala po. So, dito tayo. Ayan. So, in this one, we have different classwork. Ayan. So, nag-load pa po siya. So, technically, So, ganyan po. Ganun, actually po, ganun lang po yung sa Google Classroom. So, medyo uh, hingi pa po ng konting pasensya na po kasi we have uh, experiencing technical difficulties po in connecting po with the, the device. Ayan. Pero po, um, since na-cover po natin yung sa uh, iOS, yung interface po and interactions po noon, pare-parehas lang naman po. Kaya huwag po kayong malilito. So, Ang pinagkaibahan lang po, technically po, nung dalawa is um, kung saan nyo po pwedeng i-download or kunin po yung um, i-download po or kunin po yung mismong application. Again, sa ano po, sa, sa Android, saan po tayo sa Android? Sa Play Store po. Pag sa iOS, we're going to access po through App Store. So, ayan po. At so, at this point in time, we will now have the tutorial po, no? Tutorial po for desktop experience, no? So, ma paano naman kapag desktop na siya? Okay. Ano yung sinasabi natin sa desktop? Yung sa desktop po, um, it, uh, it will be discussed further by our faculty member po, very handsome faculty member from the Institute of Information Technology. Ayan. So, this is our last topic, Google Classroom Management using desktop. Uh, it will be delivered to us or be given to us by Sir Noel John B. Archaga, the Google Evangelist and Extension Coordinator of the Institute of Information Technology. So, Sir Noel. Sir, good morning. Sir, yes, good morning po. Okay um, na po. Na Okay. Yes po. Okay, so uh, allow me to share my screen. Okay. <coughs> okay na po ba sir? Nakita na yung screen ko. Yes po. Ay, nadada mo ba ko? Yes, yes po, po sir. Yes well. Okay. Um, good morning everyone. So... At this point, we're going to discuss, or I'm going to discuss what, uh, how, how we're going to use Google Classroom using our desktop computer, okay? So our laptops, our desktop, okay? So to do that, um, kanina, pinakita na ni Sir Ken kung paano gumamit ng Google Classroom uh, using Android and iPhone. Okay, so halos parehas lang naman yung uh, procedure. Okay, so um, sisimulan ko na para mas maaga tayong matapos. So to uh, go to Google Classroom, so you should have a browser open. Okay, so in my case, I'm going to use uh, Mozilla Firefox. Okay, so you can use either... Um, Internet Explorer or Google Chrome. So it's your uh, it's your choice kung anong browser ang gagamitin niyo. But in my case, I like using Firefox. Okay. So uh, 
um, para magamit natin yung Google Classroom, kailangan na nakasign in tayo, katulad nung sa mobile uh, application, di ba, kanina? So, to do that, um, kailangan natin mag-sign in. So, you can use your Gmail uh, account, Google Mail account. Okay? So, in my case, I'm going to use our institutional uh, institutional account, which is yung uh, at parsu.edu.com. But for students, you can use your regular uh, Gmail account, okay? Okay. Sorry. Okay, so once you're logged in, your Gmail account, there are several ways to go to Google Classroom. One of which is, you can find it uh, here. Okay, so pwede nyo siyang mahanap dito yung Google Classroom. But if wala siya dito, you can just simply uh, ah, Okay, sige. Okay. Uh, Magpo-post daw po muna tayo. Mag Sir, mayroong yes, po sir. bang? Okay, yes, sir. Sir, pa, ano na muna po ng share? Okay, stop. I'll stop okay. sharing yes, my screen. Okay. Yes, po. So, good morning po everyone. So, we have na, um, let's hear po a message po from our um, university president, Dr. Raul G. Bradesina po. So he is with us today, Po. Press, okay na po. Good enough, salamat no. Apa. Okay. Uh, Sumurain na aldaw sa sa to yung mga estudyante. As in, so mga mananagi pa sa ng estudyante kang partido State University. Uh, salamat sa sa indong pag-attender. Hindi sa sa to yung tinitibong niyan na uh, tutorial sa Google Classroom para sa mga estudyante kang Partido State University. Ah, uh, gigibo ini kang sa to yung university para sa indo. Tanganing uh, matabangan kamo sa tahaw kang kadipisilan kang pag tukdo pag implementar ning instructions na igukita ning covid pandemic an sa toyang university an mga maestro maestra asin an sa indong mga opisyales ligdi sa universidad na ini dai nagpapabaya tanganing uh, kamo na mga estudyante da inindumako a ang pigaasahan na quality education na tigrepresentar ang Partido State University bilang sa rong higher education institutions kang gobyerno dili sa Partido area. Pigibumi ining tutorial na ini matapos na ang sa tuyang mga faculty members ang sa indong mga maestra uh, magkaigwa ning training o pig-upload na masugid na pag-aadal as in pag-develop sa indang competency na makanood kang bagong teknolohiyang ini sa pig-upload ng virtual learning system na ipig-pipirit na opsyon kan sa tuyang sitwasyon na igwakita ng pandemic. Uh, ini man, pigigibota, Matapos na ang university, ang administration kang university, uh, magibo ng mga lakdang, kanganing suportaran ang kagustuhan kan sa tuyang mga maestra, asin maestro, na matawan ng kamo ng di kalidad na edukasyon, masingani, madipisil ang sa tuyang sitwasyon. Ang administration na gibo ng paagi, kanganing mag-alukar ng resources, pinansyal, 
as in human resources. Tanganing mabilog ta, ining tigapod na learning management system na kung saan magkakaigwa kita ning instruction online. Kaya mga aki, maswerte ka mo ta ang Partido State University tangaran kang mga maestros as in maestras as in kang mga opisyal kang university dahil nagpapabaya as in naghihinguha na makonfront o maatubang masimbagan ang pangaipong ini sa madipisil na sitwasyon. Tangon niyan, gusto ko magpasalamat sa membro kang sa muyang universidad na utan ni Dr. Atole as ni Sir Ken Kennedy na mag-develop ng araw kaining sistema siring man sa sa tuyang din kang usas no Dr. Barciliano as in sa sa tuyang Vice President for Academic Affairs sa padagos na paghinguha na kamu ng mga estudyante kang university da imahuri sa ngaran ning pag-aadal na kung saan pigagamit ang pigapod na online learning system. Ang presentitang aktividad mo niyan, ini ang nagkakapira sa mga gigibuho na lakdang tanganing masuportaran ka mo na mapadagos ang sa indong pag-aadal hindi sa Partido State University. Ining Google Classroom for students saro ining pagpapilot kan sa muyang sistema na dinevelop kang Partido State University sa online learning management system as in sering man pag roll out kang nanudan as in mga pag-aadal as in training kan sa mong university faculty members sa bagong teknolohiyang ini dakol sa sa muyang mga maestra i maestro ang igwang hararong na pakanood sa paggamit kang online learning systems alagad maski pangani siring kaan ang satuyang sitwasyon dahil nagpabaya ang university na dagdagan ang sa indang Hindi na po, Press. Okay na po. Mga aki, uh, masingani sa tahaw kan sa tuyang kadipisilan as in sa katotohanan na dakul sa sa tuyang mga maestra as in maestro ang may kaaraman sa online learning management system dahil mga kita nagpabaya na dagdagan as, mas, as in mas lalong pakusugon ang sa indang kasanayan o kakayahan sa online learning management system, tanganing epektibong matawan ka mo. Ning di kalidad na pakanood. Hindi ay mang kami nagbaya na dagdagan pa ang satuyang ikipahe digdi sa online learning management system. Mga aki, gusto kong sabihon sa Indo na naiiba ang satuyang presenting modalities sa pag- tao sa indoning pakanood. Sa online learning management system, nagsiship mga aki ang responsibilidad kang pakanood sa pagtaoning pakanood maghali sa maestro pasiring sa sa indo mga aki. Ang buot sabihon, ninhuli ta kadaklan kang mga pagtutukdo gigibuhon online as in mayo sa classroom dahil ng direktang supervision sa indo ang sa indong mga maestro asin mga maestra. Bakong arog sa classroom na namamansayan ka mo asin nahihiling 
tanganin ang sa indong mga behavior na nagdi-deviate sa pag-attender sa sa iyang mga pitutuklo makureher kasi matauan ning duon tanganin kamo mag-focus sa online learning system mga aki halos nawawara ang arog kaining sitwasyon kung kaya masasabi na yaon sa indo ang direkto ang Nadadaw mo po nindo ako? Can you hear me? Yes, yes po, pre. Sige okay. lang po. Kaya masasabi niya to na sa presenting sitwasyon na ini, yaon sa indong mga aki, mga estudyante, ang direktang responsabilidad na makanood ka mo. Mayo halos ning magsasaway sa indo o mag-aangkot sa indo na direkta kung kita nasa online. Kaya, digdi sa presenting ini, na online system ang maestro asin maestra malilimitar ang sa idang papel sa pagiging direktor kang pakanood asin kamo ang mananaging active na partisipante kang pakanood maliwat ang sa idong papel maghali sa pagiging passive na partisipante sa pakanood pasisiring duman sa pagiging active kamu ang madeterminar kan sa endong pakanood. Yan ang gustong sabihon, kan active participant. Kung habo nindo, dahil kamu mapipirit, ninhuli ta, yaong kamu sa sa endong harong, as in dahil kamu makukuers na makanood, ninhuli ta, dahil kamu direktang nahihiling kan sa endong maestro. Kaya mga aki, dakulaon ang mananagin nindong responsibilidad digdi sa online learning system modality na ini. Kung da'y ka mumahinguha as in da'y nindo i-develop sa sadiri nindo ang mga sadiri nindong estratehiya tangani ka mong makanoon da'y nindo makakamtan ang mga pinagpapagalan kan mga maestra as in maestro na mga instructional materials tangani ka mong matawanan ning di kalidad na instruction. Sangaran kang Partido State University ang mga maestro as in maestra kang sa tuyang iskwilahan, tigtatawanan sinda ng pag-encouragement na gibuhon ang gabos. Tanganing maitao sa Indo ang quality education. Mas hinghani, madifisil ang sa Indo mga maestro as in mga maestra padagos na nagkukooperar ninhuli sa, sa indang concern sa Indo bilang mga future na mga professionals digdi sa partido. Kaya nagtutubod kami na ang edukasyon sa rongda kulaon as in epektibong armas na nga ni kitang makahali sa pagtios. Kung kaya sa inspirasyon na ini, naguhugot ng kusog ang sa indong mga maestro as in maestra na ipagpadagos ang buhay sa akademya na nga ni matukduan ka mo. Ang sa kuyang masasabi sa indong mga aki, seryosuhon nindo kasi mag-adaptar ka mo sa bagong sistemang ini. Sabi nga ni Kansarong pinakapamuso na naturalist na si Charles Darwin, hindi da sa kinaaban, bako da so pinakamatalino, bako da so pinakamakusog, bako so pinakamatibay ang minaray na. Kundi itong mga tao, itong mga linalang na iguaning kakayahan na mag-adaptar sa anuman na pagbabago ang minarainar. Kaya mga aki, kung gusto nindong magrainar, kung gusto nindo, as in seryosuhon nindo, ang bagutang sistema ng ini. Mag-adal, magbasa, tanganing uh, makanog kitang maray sa bagong sistema ng ini. Ako nagtutubod, ninhuli sa pagiging bago kang sistema ng ini, madidipisilan kita. Alagad, sa tahaw kang kadipisilan na ini, Isipun ta ang solusyon, isipun ta ang mga paagi kung paano ta papagkakanigo ang mga presenting resources as in kakayahan na kita makanood ng maray. Ako mismo, binaako, na, na, grabe pa ang kaipuhan ng ibuhon, grabe pa ang kaluyahan na dapat pakusugon as in patamaon. Alagad sa mga limitasyon naan, ang masasabi ko sana, Padagos kaming nag-responder. Padagos kaming na nagsusulong na mayong ibang pig-iisip 
an sa indong kapakanan. Yus na iyan, mga aki, yus maray na aldaw sa indong gabos, as in salamat sa indong paghinan nyo. Thank you so much, Press. Maraming maraming salamat po for raising our webinar po for this morning. At this point in time, Sir Ruel, let's continue po with your tutorial. I will unmute you, sir. You can now share your screen, sir. Okay po. Um, so, balik na po tayo doon sa paggamit ng Google Classroom using our desktop and laptops. So, kanina, uh, nag-login na po tayo sa ating Google account. Okay? So, after natin mag-login sa Google account, you can uh, search Google Classroom. Okay? Sa ating browser. This will redirect us doon sa Google Classroom page. Okay? So, at the top of the uh, results, we have here Google Classroom. So, ang link niya po is classroom.google.com. So, we can uh, click this one. So, okay. So, this will load our Google Classroom page. Okay. So, yun. Uh, as you can see, I have a lot of... Uh, virtual classroom sa ating Google Classroom ngayon. Okay? So, ganito rin yung makikita ninyo if you have a lot of um, a lot of enrolled classes this uh, SEM. Ganito rin yung uh, magiging interface ninyo. Okay? So, to join a class, okay, katulad ng ginawa natin kanina sa mobile app, you should look for uh, this plus uh, icon, okay? So this will allow us to either join or create a class. So for our students, dito po tayo sa join class. Okay? So sa mga estudyante po natin na naka-desktop or kahit yung mga naka-mobile uh, phone, you can follow po para mas madali po nating ma makuha. Okay? So kanina po, binigay ni Sir Ken yung uh, class code niya. Okay? If natatandaan niyo po, the class code was uh, B2AGM2Z. Okay? So, ito po yung uh, pagkari, um, meron po tayong subject. Okay? So, sabi nga ni Sir Ken kanina, upon, enroll, uh, upon enrollment daw po, uh, makaka-receive tayo ng email which contains our enrolled subjects as well as yung class code doon sa subject na yun. Okay? So, and we're going to join a class. So, if I click join, oh, wala. Tama ba yung code ko? Wait, let, let me check. Sorry. Uh, Okay. So, okay naman yung ano natin, code. Join. So, I think, um, Sir Ken, nandiyan ka ba? Uh, Gmail ba yung ginamit mo po pag create ng classroom? Yes po, sir. So, ah, okay. So, let me change my account to my regular. Okay. So, kanina, ang, gina ang ginamit pala po ni Sir Ken na uh, uh, account to create yung temporary classroom natin was yung 
uh, Gmail account niya. Apo din mo ako kung ready na, iya pa makadyan ng stress? Oo, uh, uh, sige. Okay. Okay, so ulitin ko po, uh, punta tayo sa Google Classroom. So ngayon po, ang gamit ko na is yung uh, regular Gmail account ko po para makapag-enroll po tayo doon sa uh, classroom na ginawa ni Sir Ken. Okay, so hintayin lang po natin yung pag-load. So again, uh, to join a class, kailangan po natin i-click tong uh, plus icon. Okay, then enter the class code. Then click join. So fingers crossed. Want to join ka na ba? Okay, so you were able to successfully join classroom na ginawa kanina ni uh, Sir Ken. Okay, so sa interface niya po, ito po yung makikita natin. Okay, so we have the stream, the classwork, and uh, yung people tab. Okay, so dito po sa people tab, unahin ko po yung people tab. Okay, so kapag nasa desktop po tayo, ito po yung tatlong tab na makikita natin. So sa people tab, makita po natin lahat ng classmates natin. So, ayun. Marami na po tayong uh, classmates dito sa subject natin. Ano, ito po, meron po tayong 20 students. Then, ang teacher po natin is si Sir Kennedy Kuya. Okay? So, if meron pa pong gusto mag-join, open pa po yung classroom natin. Okay? So, balik po tayo sa uh, stream. So, sa stream po, this is our regular uh, homepage, our stream. So, para po siyang um, Facebook homepage. Di po ba? So, sa homepage, makikita po natin yung mga post. Katulad nitong post na good morning po. Okay? So, ayan. May mga nag-post na po tayong classmates. Okay? So, at the bottom po, makikita ninyo dyan, since na napatungan na ng ibang classmates natin yung post, dito nyo po makikita yung mga pinost na activities ng ating teacher. Okay, for example, this one, we have uh, uh, a post that is our quiz number one. So to view that, just simply click the post. And this will redirect us doon sa, sa quiz. Okay, so to go back to the home page, okay, Simply click this uh, main menu button. Okay. So, mamaya babalikan natin po ito. No? Okay. Then, go back to classes. Then, yung subject. Okay. So, ayan. Nakabalik na tayo sa stream natin. Okay. So, another thing na important dito sa stream. Okay. Other than the post ng teachers and ng mga classroom, ay ng mga classmates natin are this uh, 
upcoming June. Okay? So, makita niyo po, if nag-post po yung uh, feature natin ng mga quiz or assignment with, uh, with the due date, so, makikita po natin sila dito. Okay? So, for example, due today, so, may mga uh, activities po tayo na ang deadline po is today. So, makikita po natin to. So, we can simply click po dito to redirect us doon sa mga activities na yun. Okay? So, yun po. Again, sa stream natin, ang makikita natin is yung mga upcoming due dates as well as yung mga posts ng ating mga classmates and ng ating teacher. Okay? So, ganun lang po pasimple yung stream. The next step po is classwork. So, ito po yung pinaka-importante yung uh, part ng Google Classroom. Dito nyo po makikita lahat ng post ng teachers natin. Okay? So, nakakategorize po yan by, by topics. Okay? Okay? So, makikita nyo po dyan yung mga quizzes na pinost as well as mga uh, words na pinost ng ating mga ng ating uh, teacher as well as yung mga uh, outline. Okay? So let's try to view this uh, this post na ginawa ng uh, ni Sir Ken. Okay? So kailangan daw natin siyang basahin. Read. So to access this, just simply click. Okay? Then makikita nyo po dyan, may instruction na posted yung teacher natin. Please see attach PDF file. Okay, so to view this, you just simply have to click the PDF file, okay? So you can access it here, but clinic po natin to. What happened? Ayan. So maglo-load po yung PDF file na pinost ni teacher, okay? So depending sa ating internet connection, kung gaano ka katagal, yung pag-load. Okay po. So, let's just wait. Ayun. So, nag-load na siya. So, you can either read directly dito. Ano po? So, pwede natin siyang basahin dito directly. Or, you can print. Okay? So, kung meron kayong printer na connected sa yung mga desktop and laptops, you can do that. Or, we can open this in a new window and I think uh, we can download this, okay? So, ang ginawa ko po, ulitin ko, uh, I click this more option, then click open in new window. So, ayan po siya. Uh, Naglo-load pa po siya. So, balikan natin ito mamaya. Okay? So, to go back to on sa previous uh, interface natin, just simply click this uh, back button. Okay? Ayan. So, again, this was posted by our teacher. Okay? Ayan natin. So, still loading. Okay? So, proceed muna tayo sa iba. Okay? So, another another post na ginawa was this. Okay? Assignment. Okay? So, attached dito is the instruction for this particular assignment na ginawa ni Sir Ken. Okay? So, we can view the assignment by clicking view assignment. Okay? So, click po natin siya. Okay, so... Kanina, niload natin yung uh, reading assignment na binigay sa atin ni Sir Ken. So, as you can see, meron na po ditong download option. Okay? So, we can simply download this uh, PDF file para magkaroon po tayo ng personal copy. So, kahit wala tayong internet, pwede natin siyang basahin. Okay? For example, ito yung mga outline na pinos ng teacher natin, mga reading assignments, Okay, we can simply click download and then magkakaroon na po tayo ng 
copy sa ating machine, sa ating laptops, or kahit sa ating mga kahit sa ating mga uh, mobile phones. Okay? So, ayan po. So, I'll download this one para magkaroon ako ng kopya. Okay? So, makita natin siya. It is downloading. Yan. So, I have successfully downloaded this paper. So, kahit wala akong internet, I can uh, browse and read yung paper. Okay po. So, I can close this muna. Proceed na po tayo dito sa assignment. Okay? So, ganun din po dito sa assignment na pinapagawa sa atin ng teacher natin. So, meron siyang instructions na nakapost dito sa uh, PDF file na to. Okay? So, simply, let's simply view kung ano yung uh, nandito sa assignment natin. Okay? So, ayan. Ito yung instructions na pinapagawa ng teacher natin. Okay? So, ayan. Gagawa tayo ng presentation, etc. etc. Okay? So, for example, uh, basa ko na yung instruction ni Sir. So, kailangan ko nang mag-submit ng uh, output. Okay? So, dito po, again, sa assignment interface, andyan po yung mga, uh, andyan po yung Dito po tayo magsasubmit ng ano natin, ng assignment. Okay? So, another thing is pwede tayong mag-comment dito sa post ni Sir Ken. Okay? Kunwari, Hi, Sir. So, this is class comment. So, ibig sabihin nito, everyone in the class will see my comment. So, if meron po tayo dito, meron po tayong mga uh, nakikinig or nanonood na uh, sinusundan yung ginagawa natin, you can post your comments dito para uh, makita natin in real time yung comments po ninyo. Okay? So, hi sir. Okay. Post. Yan. Okay. So, for example, mag, uh, magsasabit na po tayo ng output natin. I mean, okay? So, click po natin itong uh, add or create. Okay? So, we can either uh, upload a file. Okay? Magka-upload tayo ng file to submit for our assignment. So, gawa muna ako ng simple uh, Word file. Okay? So, kunwari, yung sa instruction ni Sir, pinapagawa niya tayo ng uh, this is my assignment. Okay? So, again, uh, always read the instructions ng uh, teacher natin kung magsasubmit ba tayo ng kung anong klaseng file yung isasubmit natin. So, kanina, Ayan, may nag-comment tayo ng classmate. Okay. Kanina, um, nag-discuss si uh, Sir Briones regarding the different file types. Okay. So, for example, in this particular activity, ang kailangan nating submit is a Microsoft uh, or a document file. So, gagawa tayo ng uh, doc file. So, kunwari ito yung assignment ko. I'll simply save this muna. Then, I'll save this on the desktop. Okay, kunwari, uh, artiaga underscore assignment. Assignment 1. Okay. Save. Okay, so for example, nakagawa na tayo ng output natin, then isasubmit na natin dito kay Sir. Ayun, marami tayong mga uh, classmate na nag-comment. So, to upload your work, again, just simply click dito sa Add or Create. Then, click File. So, ito po yung pag-submit or pag-upload ng uh, assignment. Okay? Add, then click File. So, kahanapin niya po or 
magpa-prop po dito kung paano natin ma-upload yung assignment natin. Okay? So, we can drag files here or we can select files from your device. So, I'll click select files from your device. So, then, hahanapin nyo na po. Okay? So, naalala nyo po, sinave ko yung assignment natin sa desktop. So, kaya, andito siya. Send. Okay? So, I'll open this one. Then, it will be automatically uploaded by clicking upload. Okay? So, if you are going to add multiple files, you can add more files by simply clicking this one. Okay? Kunwari, multiple document files. Okay? So, for this uh, demo, mag upload lang po ako ng isang file. So if I click upload, this will start to upload. Again, uh, sabi ni Sir ni kanina, depende sa speed ng internet connection ninyo, kung gaano kabalis mag-download and also mag-upload ng files. And also, kung gaano kalaki yung file size na ina-upload ninyo. Okay? So medyo mabagal yung upload natin ngayon. <laughs> Hey, hello ka naman. <laughs> so while waiting, yun, natakot siya. Na okay. Yun, so uploaded na po yung ano natin, yung assignment. Pakita natin dito. Okay. You can preview this by simply clicking this uh, icon or this uh, file. Okay. So once you uploaded yung uh, yung assignment niyo, it does not uh, end there, okay? Kailangan nating i-click. Very important po, kailangan nating i-click yung turn in. Okay? So ito yung pinaka-importante. Kailangan na once na upload na natin yung file, kailangan natin siyang i-turn in to notify our teacher na nag-submit na tayo. Malinaw? Okay? So, at the bottom, meron dito tayong uh, private comment. So, ibig sabihin nito, uh, yung teacher lang natin yung makakakita ng comment na ilalagay natin dito. Okay, for example, hi sir. Uh, anong ilalagay natin ng comment? Uh, your assignment was Anong sabi niya? Was more fun to work at. Okay? Thank you. So, ito po is makikita lang ni teacher. Okay? So, again. Okay. So, again, uh, I uploaded the assignment again. So, ulit-ulitin ko. Do not forget to turn in. So, ikiklik ko na po yung turn in. Then, uh, mag-notify siya kung uh, sure na ba tayo na ito-turn in natin yung assignment. Yes. And click again, turn in. So, yan. Na-turn in na natin sa ating teacher. So, na-notify na si Sir Ken na nag-submit na tayo ng uh, assignment natin. Okay? So, you can uh, also click on submit kasi baka mali yung file na nasubmit natin. But if tama na, we are done with our assignment. So, to go back sa home page, so click natin to. Okay, balik tayo sa classwork. So, mapapansin natin dito guys, kanina meron tayong tatlong activity na naka date, di ba? So, ngayon meron na lang tayong dalawa kasi natapos na natin yung isa. Okay, so again, this is very important. So, balik po tayo sa classwork. Okay, so sa classwork, meron pa tayo dito, ayan, makikita natin na turned in na natin to. Okay, meron tayo dito ng quiz. Okay. So, kanina, nag-try kayong mag-quiz uh, using your phones. 
sa desktop, halos pares lang din. Just simply click yung quiz. Then click natin yung quiz. This will open our, uh, this will open a new tab containing the quiz. Okay, so hintayin muna natin. So ano pa bang meron tayo sa classwork? Okay. Ayan, meron tayong another assignment dito which is due tomorrow. So, ganun rin po kapag uh, nag-view tayo dito sa assignment na to, makikita natin yung um, instruction kung paano gagawin. So, later, puntahin natin to. Let's proceed muna dito sa quiz. So, again, I open this quiz. Ano? So, nag-open siya ng new tab. So, ito. So, kunwari, let's say, pause. So, answeran ko lang yung ano natin, yung quiz, ano. So, nakita ko yung answer kanina dito. <laughs> okay. Then, yan. So, after completing the quiz, you can click submit. So you can view score, okay, here you can open assignment, okay, so once completed your name, please, uh, pwede natin open yung assignment, so this will load yung sa Google Classroom assignment page, oops, uh, I have multiple, uh, Gmail account kasi na nakalag in. So let me just close this. Okay, so once na submitted na to, uh, you can just simply close the tab. Okay? Tapos na kayo ng quiz. Okay? Or you can view your score. Okay? So, for example, tapos na natin or na-accomplish na natin yung quiz. Close na natin. Close na po natin yung tab. Okay? So, again, uh, tapos na natin yung quiz, di ba? So, mapapansin nyo dito sa interface natin na turned in na po yung quiz natin. Kasi na-accomplish na natin siya, na-perform na natin yung quiz. So, turned in na po siya. So, makikita natin na, uh, or makikita na ni teacher na nakapag-take na po tayo ng quiz. Okay. So, balik tayo sa stream. Tingnan natin, guys. Ayun, sa upcoming natin na due date, meron na lang tayong isa. Okay? So, uh, buksan natin kung ano yung naka-due date pa today. Ayun. Ito yung dinownload natin kanina. Okay? Okay? So, for example, we are done reading this. So, pwede tayo mag-send ng private message here, sir. Sir, uh, nabasa ko na po. paper. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Or kung may hinihingi si sir na kailangan nating i-upload, for example, a reflection for this particular technical paper, baka may pinapa-upload siya. So again, basahin natin mabuti yung instruction ng ating mga teacher. Kung meron ditong nakalagay na submit a uh, an opinion paper regarding the technical paper na pinasa natin in a PDF file, so kailangan natin siyang isubmit dito. Okay? So since wala naman yata ang pinapasubmit si sir, I'll click this as Done. Okay? Mark as done. Okay? Ayan. Balik tayo sa ating stream. So, yun. No work do soon. So, napos na natin lahat ng naka-due date. So, again, pwede na tayong mag-proceed sa, sa other classes natin. Ano? So, very important po itong upcoming uh, itong section na to para ma maging aware po tayo doon sa mga sa mga due dates so sa mga activities na naka-due okay para hindi tayo mali 
So, very important pa rin ang mag magsubmit tayo on time. Okay? So, what else? So, again, this is the stream. Uh, this is the classwork. Okay, we are done with the classwork. We can view this by uh, by topics. Okay, meron tayo ditong uh, view your work. Uh, yeah. View your work. So, dito nyo makikita lahat ng mga uh, mga activities natin. So, parang summary ng mga activities na naka-assign sa atin as a student. Okay? So, meron tayo dyang uh, ito yung quiz natin. Turn in na siya. Tapos na natin siya ma-perform. Again, the technical paper. Again, we turned it in kanina. So, ito. Meron pa tayong uh, activity which is due tomorrow. So, assign pa lang natin. Uh, assign pa lang to sa atin. Ibig sabihin, hindi pa natin siya na gagawa. Okay? So, I'll do this tomorrow na lang. So, this one, okay, naka-turn in. Narin po tayo. Okay? So, again, uh, this is a summary of our uh, work. Okay? Of our activities na naka-assign po sa atin. Okay? Balik ulit tayo sa stream. So, yun po. Ano? Meron tayong stream. Meron tayong classwork. Then, uh, yun. Nadagdagan po yung classmate natin. Meron na tayong 24 classmates. Okay? So, makita natin dito yung mga klase natin. So, if you have multiple classes po na enrolled, pwede nyo po siyang makita dito sa main menu. Then, usually, nandito po siya nakalist. Lahat ng mga uh, mga enrolled classes natin. So ngayon, meron lang tayong isang enrolled class. Meron tayo dito ang to-do. Tingnan natin kung anong laman ng to-do. Ayan. Nandiyan rin uh, yung activity na due tomorrow. So parang shortcut ng upcoming events. Ano po? Ayan. So if you have a lot of classes, okay, then marami kang naka-due na work makikita po natin sila dito. Nakasummarize po siya dito. But since meron lang tayong isang class na enrolled, meron lang tayong several activities. Okay? But if you have six subjects na enrolled this coming sem, makikita po natin lahat ng activities na naka-due dito sa to-do. Or lahat ng activities na hindi pa natin nagagawa dito. Okay? Balik tayo sa main menu. Okay, if you have multiple class, you can simply go to different classes dito. Just simply click the class. Okay? Ano pa? Meron dito tayo ditong archive class. So, archive class is yung mga uh, class na natapos na natin ma... ma kunwari, um, after ng first sem, okay, second sem na, pwede natin i-archive yung mga class na uh, enrolled tayo nung first sem. Okay? Makikita natin sila dito sa archive classes. Let's visit settings. Ano yung settings ang pwede natin magawa dito? Okay. So, sa so settings, we can change our profile picture. We can uh, enable res to receive email notification. So, ibig sabihin, Kapag nag-post ng assignment si teacher, makaka-receive po tayo ng email notification. Okay? So, this is very handy. Okay? Ay, sorry. Na-disable ko siya. Okay? So, to enable, just simply tick this uh, um, slider. Okay? So, other notifications via email are comments on your post, mentions, so kapag minention ka ng classmate mo, makaka-receive ka rin ng email if all of these are enabled. Okay? So, ito po yung mga possible notification na ma-receive natin through email. Hindi ko na po sila isa-isay. By default, naka-on po yan. So, if you don't want to receive email notification from your uh, 
classes, pwede nyo itong i-disable. But I highly suggest na lagi lang siya naka-enable para lagi kang notified if may bagong post, bagong assignment, bagong lesson na ginawa si teacher. Okay, so that's about it. Okay? So, uh, ganun po kasimple ang paggamit ng Google Classroom. So, I know uh, most of you, mga millennials, are very or highly technical, kaya I think uh, madali nyo namang ma, madali tayong makaka-adapt dito sa new normal. Okay? So, if you have uh, questions, post po natin later sa open forum. Okay? Thank you. Ah. So, what's next? Hmm. Okay, I think uh, may pinuntahan yata si Sir Ken. Uh, Sir Nick. Uh, can we proceed to Basa Open Forum? Okay. So, if my questions po tayo, uh, pwede po natin, ayan, uh, bumalik na sa ang ating uh, host. Yon, welcome back, Sir Ken. <laughs> Hello po. Okay. Sige pa. O oh, ayan po. Maray na ud to. <laughs> Totoya po ga boss. Ayan. So Isa po ang may mga kahaputan po. Yan. Nga ni pong... Yan. Sige po. Isa po um, may basahon lang po ako, Digdi, na may mga hapot po. Digdi po sa YouTube. Yan. Ang sabi po dito sa YouTube. You recognize na lang po no. Meron po dito from um, Osami City working from home. Hello po, Maray na. Uh, good afternoon po. Yan. <clears throat> from from Osami. So may question po dito. Meron Meron po bang specific na date or week para mag-open po kami ng Google Classroom? Eh kung need po namin kasi na mag-open everyday, meaning po noon, dapat everyday kami may load po. So actually po, um, it's, as a faculty po or as a teacher, that's optional. Uh, that's optional po. Also sa, for the students, um, it's okay lang po kahit hindi po kayo everyday na mag, na mag, you know, always check po ng um, Google Classroom nyo. Because technically po, ang Google Classroom, pwede nyo naman po kasi yan, may schedule naman po kayo, di ba, sa mga classes nyo. Katulad din po ng residential classes, right? Sa residential classes, what happens is, um, say, sa, say for example Monday, hindi naman lahat ng eight subjects nyo um, papasukan nyo yan, di ba? Usually, mga dalawa or tatlong subjects lang. So, ganun din po kapag online classes or yeah, online. And also, um, since um, yung iba pong mga materials naman po are, were already available, made available using asynchronous or synchronous mode, um, Kapag po, ang pinili, uh, kapag po ang pinili niyo po is asing, as 
um, hindi po kayo available ng synchronous, you can watch or download po the videos that were uploaded po by your teachers. Also for activities naman po, you can download naman materials po from the Google Classroom. Also, <clears throat> there are other ways po para po makakonect din po tayo or ma-access po natin yung mga learning materials. So kung ang question po, dapat po bang everyday, hindi naman po kailangan, um, everyday kailangan po mag-load. Ang kailangan lang po dito is um, alam nyo po kung ano po, noti notified po kayo kung ano po yung mga dapat ninyong i-submit or i-comply. Tapos meron po dito, <coughs> we have po teachers from other parts of the archipelago. Hi, hello po sa inyong lahat. May question po dito. Yung iba pong questions regarding po enrollment, pasensya po ha, we cannot answer you po um, about enrollment because this is solely for um, the tutorial on Google Classroom. Salamat po sa inyo pong pag-intindi. Sa, sa, sa Zoom, may question po ba? Ah, in fairness po, walang question ha. Siguro malinaw no, yung ano po, yung lecture po na binigay po ni Sir Well, ni Sir Badong, yours truly, and then ni Sir Nick. Okay, so actually wala na pong masyadong mga tanong. Anong oras po mapuon tutorial sa Google Classroom? Ay, Miss Para Tan Tanchar, Para Tanchar. Wow, sige, Para Tanchar. That's the her, his or her name. Kanina pa po nagpupuon. Ayan. Ah, okay, so dito po kasi sa YouTube, they were all talking about specification of their... Um, mobile devices, and then their laptops. So yung iba po meron daw pong Pentium, yung iba 4 gig Intel HD graphics, and so and so. Well, technically speaking, kahit ano naman pong, um, kahit ano naman pong specification po ng mga laptops nyo po, okay lang naman po yan. Or yeah, especially kung ano. Kasi ang kailangan lang po natin dito is the browser. Kung gagamit po tayo sa laptop, browser lang po. So hindi siya kailangan ng masyadong mataas na na ano po na specification but it pays very well kapag medyo maayos po yung um, processor po natin kasi po sometimes you, you can do or um, multitasking po di ba habang nag ano ka nag nag YouTube ka or may ginagawa ka or nag you know nag um, um nag-aaral ka so you you do multitasking. So with that, it will eat up much of your physical memory. So medyo ko konting mikabagalan lang ng konte. Pero po kung um, mababa po ang ating specification ng ating devices, siguro po I would suggest or advise po na one at a, one at a time lang po ang ating pag-process. Yung may nagsasabi po dito na pawala-wala, pasensya po, um, as much as possible po na gusto po namin maibigay na wala po tayong dead air or problem po regarding the connection. The problem is, which is everyone is experiencing po, is the intermittent connection po anywhere po sa Pilipinas. So, hindi po siya isolated case sa ating webinar. Jennifer Sales. <clears throat> um, Good morning, sir. Hi, good morning. Actually, good afternoon na. Yes. Ask ko lang po kung uh, Miss Jennifer, please complete po your question para po ma-address po natin ng maayos. Uh, we have here uh, Aldrin Dorn. Sir, always ba kami magamit Google Classroom? So, I already um, give na po This is not for PSU alone. Online teachers like UPOU, uh, yun pong University of the Philippines, Open University, um, Polytechnic University of the Philippines, Open University, 
um, and then sa iba pong mga bansa na nag um, matagal na silang may na-establish na open university which is yung mga classes po nila were done or being done online. So sa kanila po ang mga ang mga posting po nila it's not every day because they also understand na yung mga situation ng mga estudyante nila um, during the COVID pandemic according to uh, uh, research po <coughs> excuse me from um, China I read a handbook ang nakalagay po doon sa kanila they recommend po at least uh, once a uh, weekly lang po weekly meaning to, meaning to say ng weekly hindi po daily hindi po weekly po in the sense na ang pag ang pag post po ng faculty isang isang posting lang pero that's good for the whole week so the you the students will have a leave uh, we have an then po mas makusog ang internet na to download the resources or references or learning materials that is available po or in-upload po ng teacher, it's up to you na po. So, ibig sabihin, hindi po kailangan every day. So, sabihin po natin, um, nag, uh, nag-post po si teacher nyo. Pwede rin po kayong mag-suggest. Yan na, kung po pwede every Monday, i-post po nila yung lahat ng mga materials para you have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday to work on activities. So, yan. Depende po yan sa strategies ng mga teachers nyo. And, naiintindihan po ng mga teachers nyo na the limitations po of your mobile devices, mobile data. Yeah. Thank you so much po. Um, yeah. Yung iba po, sino pong gusto magtanong regarding network? Nandito po si Sir Nick, nagla-launch, make mobile devices. I am here. And then sa desktop po natin, si Sir Rowell po. Oh, okay. So, big shout out po to Mr. Potato. Yan. Sa YouTube po. Hi. March Barbado. Paano po yung subject na hindi pwedeng i-online? Um, actually po, lahat po ng mga subjects po natin is online. Um, you are, i-ano po, um, kahit meron, sorry, sorry, <clears throat> i-compose ko lang ang sarili ko. Okay. So, ang si PSU, ang mode niya po is flexible learning. Meron po tayong online and then meron din po tayong modules. Okay po. So, sa, ang pinag-uusapan po natin dito is yung online muna. Okay? So, kung ang tanong po is paano yung subjects na hindi pwedeng i-online, lahat po ng subjects natin, lahat po kayo mag-i-enroll po online. We're all subjects in PSU, uh, meron po kayong Google Classroom codes. So therefore, all outputs, isasubmit nyo po doon po mismo sa Google Classroom. That's why we have this you know, interaction po and then tutorial para ahead of time, ma-practice nyo na po or at least you have already a head start para po uh, ma-discover nyo po yung mismong uh, features and functionalities ng Google Classroom. Maria, Maria, Maria Riza Joaquino. Good morning po. Still watching from Siargao Char Division. Hi! Hello po from Siargao. Yes, pa-invite naman po dyan. So sabi po ni Ms. Rufa Resabal, thank you very much. Wow, thank you, thank you so much po. We are honored po na you are with us no? um, hanggang, hanggang ngayon po. So good morning, still watching po. Yes, thank you po, Ma'am ano, Ma Maria Riza. Thank you, Ma'am and Sir Florencia Susoban. Thanks, Don, listening and watching. Eliado Mabalatan. Sabi po ni Chano Pakamara, pawala-wala po ang sound. Actually, sir, okay po yung sound namin. Baka po yung sa connection niyo po, medyo nagkakaroon po ng... ...sa yung uh, data connection mo po. We have Isabel 
Isabel Castillos, thank you po from Ozami City, working from home. Wow, thank you so much po for being with us. So I guess po wala na po siguro mga tanong-tanong. Um, mga pa-shoutout na lang po kasi maayos yata yung ating um, balitaktakan ngayong umaga. Ang, oh, inabot na tayo ng alas 12. Ayan po. So thank you so much po. So um, thank you sa lahat po na nagstay po natin. We have 200 plus na nagwa-watch. Medyo paputol-putol. Actually, we have 500 plus po kanina. So sa uh, YouTube, welcome. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much po. You can rewatch po. Uh, meron pong pahabol. Watching from Bohol, Miss Blesila Comodas. Hi po. Good afternoon. You can rewatch po this live stream later on po. Thank you so much po. So from last na lang po siguro no para let's end this na uh, from March Barbado nakakalungkot naman gusto ko sana yung subject namin na swimming kaso ang mangyayari ata online na lang. Opo, i-YouTube natin yung mga strokes. <laughs> Oo, ma ano mahirap talaga it's really a challenge po no. So, yan. Pwede nyo i-YouTube yung strokes tapos i-apply nyo po sa swimming pool. <laughs> Charat lang po. Pero, you know, bahala na po kayo ng teacher nyo. Um, very creative po ang mga teachers natin sa Partido State University and magagawa nila po yan ng paraan. Okay. So, bless sila. Komodas. Hello po. Hello po, ma'am. Welcome po. Welcome po to PSU. So, with that po, at this juncture, let me... Ah okay, meron pa po, meron pa po. Sige, pagbigyan po natin kasi konti lang po yung nagtatanong kasi malinaw po yung ating um, webinar. <clears throat> so sabi po dito, ask ko lang po kung paano ko na-submit na yung file, di po ba siya makikita sa buong class po or di po siya ma-open or ma-edit -e or direct na po yun sa teacher. Thank you. Sir Well, gusto mo pong sagutin? Ay, si Sir Well, nag, ano na si Sir. <clears throat> so, ang question mo po is about kung paano mag, uh, paano ko nasubmit na yung file. Okay, okay, check, nasubmit na. Di po ba siya makikita ng buong class? Yes, your teacher will only see your submission one at a time. Um, uh, pwede rin yung buong class, pero hindi makikita ng kaklase mo yung output mo. So, may privacy pa din because technically, siyempre, hindi naman siya dapat i-allow makita ng mga ng iba nyo mga kaklase. Or di po siya ma-open or ma-edit. Pwede nyo pong i-edit, pwede nyo i-retract yung submission nyo. Say for example, the submission is um, July 10. Okay, July 10. Pero nag-submit ka ahead of time like July 8. And then, you notice na parang you want to add up, no? Dagdagan mo pa para mas mapaganda yung, yung output mo. You still have two days. You can retract and then resubmit po your your output and then okay naman yan kasi meron naman pong logs. When we say logs, may history po kung anong nangyari doon sa submission mo. Makikita din yan ng teacher mo. And inaalaw yan ng Google Classroom. Tapos po, meron pa po dito. Um, <clears throat> this is question from uh, Zoom po, no? Uh, by Jennifer Salas. Thank you, ma'am, Miss Jennifer, for staying with us from 9 o'clock until 12.20. Um, or direct na po yun sa teacher. Once po nag-turn in po tayo, yung pinakita po ni Sir Rowell kanina, no? nag-turn in po siya, di ba? Once po nag-turn in po tayo ng submission ng mga outputs po natin, ang makakakita lang po niyan, yung teacher lang po. No? Teacher, si teacher lang po ang makaka-access niyan. Yun pong collaboration po, like say for example, um, comments, yan, that's good, uh, that's open for the, you know, for the class. It's one way po. Parang dyan na din yung recitation. Minsan na si teacher magpo... ...ng iba niyong mga classmates. Yan. Ah, thank you. Welcome po, Miss Jennifer Sales. Ah, meron po, sige, by 
sa YouTube po, Miss Maika Verganio. Hi, good afternoon. Tanong lang po, wala na po ba time na kailangan pumunta sa PSU? Online na po ba lahat buong SEM? Curious lang po kasi, di pa po kauwi di ko. Ah, okay, Miss Maika, we are, ano po, kanina po, um, during the first part of the program, we have our Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Rosetina A. Borromeo, discussing po ini pong katuyang mga modes. Um, yun pong enrollment, ginawa po natin siya, pre-enrollment, ginawa po natin siyang online. Ngayon po, next week from July 13 to July 31, ang enrollment po natin is online din. And then ang ating mga modes of ano po sa pag um, teaching po ngayon is online din po. Pero meron po tayong mga ano kaya may mga changes din po kayan along the way. Alo, yeah. Um kung curious ka lang, kung pwede bang pumunta, may time sa pwedeng pumunta sa PSU. Yes po, meron po tayo. We um hindi pa po siya ano, it's a proposal po and then it was already ano kahapon it was discussed by the academic council meet sa, through the academic council meeting about these um, concerns and then magkakaroon po tayo no magkakaroon po tayo ng orientation ayan on August 3 magkakaroon tayo ng orientation sa lahat no ng mga enrolled students i-discuss doon kung anong mangyayari anong mga modes paano paano ba si PSU i-deliver ang mga you know ang um, mga classes ta ano yung mode paano paano po kayo pwedeng pumunta dito will be on August 3 dun uh, sa ano po yan orientation po di ba every ano every sa may orientation po tayo sa ginagawa minsan sa gym sa mga campuses po sa kanya-kanyang campuses nag nagkakandak po tayo ng ganyan ngayon po sa online hindi kahit ano na po kahit online po. Meron pa rin po tayong orientation. So, watch out for that. Miss Blesilda Comodas, mag watch po ako mamaya, sir, kasi conflict sa aming division. Meron din pong webinar. Oh, Ma'am, thank you so much po. Salamat po. Same sked kasi ang time. Oh, thank you po, thank you po. Maganda po yung lecture namin. Thank you so much, both iOS and Android. So from Maika Verganio, thank you, po, sir. Welcome. This is no other than Dr. Gemma T. Barciliano, Mom Gem. To our university president, Dr. Raul G. Bredicina, our vice president for academic affairs, Dr. Josefina A. Borromeo, our university registrar, Dr. Joji B. Miranya, and our campus registrars, our program directors, my dear students, friends, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant afternoon. This activity that we have today is the first of the series of online tutorials that we will have as one of the university services to our students, our most valued clients. We want you to be ready for the online learning management system, which we will adopt this first semester school year 2020. I know that this is not easy but with our positive outlook and aggressive desire that we can surpass this difficulty, I know we can. Our limitations are only our imaginations. Please always remember that the university is always doing its best to live to its tagline where quality education comes first. This activity will never be possible without the support of the following. Our university president, Dr. Raul G. Bredicina, our Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Josefina A. Borromeo, our College and Campus Deans and Program Directors, 
our university and campus registrars for sharing with us your precious time. Diyos mabalus po sa Intugabos. Hats off to our very knowledgeable speakers, Mr. Nick Pura, Mr. Salvador Briones Jr., Mr. Kennedy Kuya, and Mr. Ruel Jan Archaga. Thank you very much for sharing your expertise. And of course, to our students, thank you for your enthusiasm and eagerness to learn. This serves as our inspiration to strive harder, to innovate in order to be responsive to your needs and the needs of the time. It's been a great feeling to be with you all today. May I use the Ched tagline as a final statement, together we will learn as one. Thank you and good afternoon. So, thank you so much po, Dean James. Maraming maraming salamat mo to our, to our university president, Dr. Raul G. Bredesina, to our vice president for academic affairs, yan, sa ating pong mga um, student leaders. Yan. Maraming maraming salamat po. So, at yan po. So, the, the, that concludes our um, tutorial on Google Classroom. Uh, for students. So, with that po, thank you so much. Bye everyone. Maraming maraming salamat po. Ingat po tayong lahat.